right, as usual, we're waiting on YouTube to catch up here, but good morning, everybody. Hello over on Twitch. Day Spring Summers is still awake. Go to bed, my friend. Ali Nicholas is here. Kev Gascan, Shred Pirate, and Money Morrison. Hello, you guys. Also, hello to YouTube, because you guys can probably see me now. Hope you all are doing well. Steven says, sounds good. Thank you, Steven. Satsui King Beats is very nice. Time. Let's support each other. Thank you. I'm glad you guys are here. I'm actually surprised. There's 30 people on YouTube right now watching early 9 a.m. here on a Sunday. But we are going to hopefully get through everything. Everything that's left over from last night where we had to stop due to all the lag and service issues. Breaks number 12 through 34. So there's quite a lot. Not certain if we will get through everything. Well, I'll do my best to get through. I mean, we have a lot of shorter breaks, so hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will be okay. But we're actually going to be starting off with some artifacts. It's sad we never got to go to Artifacts Town last night. I know a lot of people were waiting for it, but as things happened, the stream was unusable. Good morning, Dan the Wiseman. Colin says, go Habs, go. But alrighty, I'd like to just get started here right off the bat. Get on into it. I'm pretty sure Bounty Hunter said he wouldn't be here. Abdil Ramirez just subscribed. Thank you, Abdil. Day Spring Summer says, everyone get your pitchforks if lag comes back. I did a speed test. We're at 39.2 upload, so we, we should be good. Should be no issues, but knock on wood, hopefully nothing goes wrong. But I'm going to go ahead and update our queue number to 12. Probably should have done that before, but whatever. All right. I didn't get in here too early, too early, so let me just make sure everything's good. Looks like I have top loaders, I have those over there. Did I bring extra 55s? 55s look a little low. Here's the extra 55s. Good morning, David. Yep, Money Morrison, 9 a.m. here. Alright, so starting off our, I guess, Sunday morning breaks, we do have break number 12 here. One box, 2021 Upper Deck Artifacts Hockey for Mr. Bounty Hunter Breaks, Boba Fett Me. Let's go on ahead and get on into it. It's by snapping us into the corner. Starting off with a good snap. Hey, welcome, Greg. Good morning. And Artifacts does have three hits per box, along with one mystery rookie redemption. You can get a mix of autographs, Aurum cards and relic cards for your hits and then that one rookie redemption on average four cards per pack eight packs per box so pretty small boxes hey welcome back john s all right here we go let's get started pack number one for boba fett me oh, we have a bronze thomas tatar 87 out of 299 Oh, we have Vegas Golden Knights Rookie Redemption. Number 209 for Vegas. Good morning, Dusty. Stilma is now following. Thank you, Stilma. Oh, we have NHL Remnants, Jersey Relic of Gustav Nyquist for the Blue Jackets. There's our first hit of the box, Nyquist Relic. Good morning, Douglas. Oh, we have rookie card here, Kiefer Bellows, 279 out of 299 for the Islanders. Oh, we have, that's cool, Guy Lafleur, number 7 out of 299, bronze parallel. We 
We have Lord Stanley's Legacy Relics of Braden Holtby for the Capitals. A little jersey piece, 2018 Stanley Cup. It's an unnumbered relic as well. All right, last two packs for Bounty Hunter. Yep, first box, Douglas. And we have rookie here, blue parallel, Maxim Latunov, 9 of 45 for the Sharks. Matching colors for the Sharks there. That's pretty cool. Nice blue. Yeah, mess of things. We were down and out for about two hours last night. Uh, facing a lot of lag where I couldn't, the video was not good. A lot of different streaming services were down as well. Uh, so it, is, it was very unfortunate. So we just decided to take a break and I came back, got started again up at nine. Douglas says, I've seen six to eight hits per box. Artifacts only has three per box. Three hits per box and then you get your various numbered cards and whatnot. All right, last sub. What's here? We have... An autograph here, Autofacts of Lucas Walmart for the Florida Panthers. That is a sticker auto, but I do like the card design. Autofacts, Lucas Walmart. All right, so that'll do it here for this box for Bounty Hunter. Let me go ahead and get this sleeved up top loaded, and then we'll do a quick recap. No missing hits here, which is good. No card damage either, which is good compared to Synergy. Now let's take a look at our three hits. Starting off, we just saw this last pack. We had Autofax, Lucas Walmart, unnumbered auto for the Panthers. And then our relics were unnumbered as well. We had the Lord Stanley's Legacy Relics, Braden Holpe. And NHL Remnants, Gustav Nyquist, jersey piece. Also had two rookies here. We had Kiefer Bellows out of 299 and Maxim Latunov out of 45. Also had the rookie redemption here for Vegas. Will it be Peyton Krebs? Will it be somebody else? Who knows? But that is card number 209. And then for our other parallels, we had Guy Lafleur out of 299 and Thomas Tatar out of 299. And that'll do it here for our first box this morning for Bounty Hunter. Thank you so much, Boba Fett, me, for letting me open this on up for you. Hope you enjoy the opening once you are able to come back and watch this and love these new additions to your hockey collection. Let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. Good morning, Andin. Ken Doggy Kong says you don't get many cards in one pack. Yeah, you just get the four cards per pack here in Hobby Artifacts. Then these big old spacers, because you can get giant relics that are like about that size. So to prevent people from like touching the packs and figuring out where all the hits are. Hey, Bounty Hunter just got here. Oh man, he just got here. Ah. Here you go. Walmart, Auto, Holtby Relic. Nyquist Relic. Bellows, Latunov, Blue out of 45. The Redemption was the Vegas. And Lafleur and Tatar out of 299. Those were the, uh, well, the hits were the Relics and the Auto. But alrighty. Let me go ahead and, un and unsnap for real this time. My Bounty Hunter is here, so I, I he just showed up, so I, I've showed him off his stuff once more. Massive of Things says, I spent five hours making about 30 minutes worth of videos and I haven't done the editing yet. Oop. That doesn't sound fun. Been there, done that mess of thing. Sometimes it, it'd be like that. But take care of yourself. Don't don't stay up too late. Don't be like me. But all right. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way. And when I come back, we do have another box of artifacts. Break number 13. Artifacts for David O. So hang tight and I'll be right back. Alright, let me go ahead and update our queue number to 13. We have another box here of 2021 Upper Deck Artifacts Hockey. This one here is for David O. I see we have a lot of Davids actually here right now, but I don't see David O. But David O, if you're here, come on out. It's time for your hockey box. Let's go on ahead and get on into it by snapping us into the corner. Good morning, David. David B. Different David. And Alright, here we go. Let's get on into it again. Three hits per box. 
one rookie redemption. Let's see who we will find. All right, here we go. Pack number one. Sweat Dog, we have 34 breaks, although I do need to get out of here at around 12.15, so I'm going to try and get through as much as I can. We have a Sabres Rookie Redemption. Number 184 for Buffalo. All right, first pack, Rookie Redemption. We have a teal parallel here. 5 of 45, Braden Holpe for the Capitals. Just notice, do the boxes not have the usual UD seal? They do, it's just very weak. It's just a very weak seal. But it, it still has the seal. We have Retro Rookie Redemption number four. Interesting. Interesting. R-E-D-R-4. That's pretty cool. Not sure if it's just like a retro style rookie redemption or actual rookie re retro rookies. Anthony says, this is the first one, Allie. This is actually the second box of this morning. Break number 13, a hobby box for David O. Michael ABC123 is now following. Thank you, Michael. Oh, we have a dual relic of Morgan Geeky. 141 out of 599 for the Hurricanes. Rookie dual relic. We have another dual relic here, Matthew Kachuk out of 175 for the Flames, two color. That's cool. Hello, Jennifer. Welcome. Magic Moose Moo asks, how do you redeem those? Is it like an electronic card or something? It's not an electronic card, but you do put the code online and then Upper Deck will send you the card in the mail. Donny Hunter says, I believe those are established players. Oh, all right, cool. Oh, we have something blue here. That's cool. Shea Theodore for Vegas, 31 out of 4.99. We have Martin Cotts here. 880 out of 999 rookie. Black Mage 071 is now following. Thank you, Black Mage. Black Mage says, Good morning from Brazil. Hey, good morning. Hey, thank you, Jennifer. Appreciate it. And last pack here for David. We have Orange, Sam Reinhardt, 27 of 75. Alrighty, so I'm asking you guys who've watched Artifacts openings before, does the Retro Rookie Redemption count as a hit? Because otherwise we might be missing a hit here. Just the two relics. Does anybody know? This is not the way I'd like to start off this morning with potential missing hits, but I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't know. Two relics, one rookie card, three numbered parallels, and two redemptions. Retro Rookie Redemption. Let me check Cardboard Connection. Artifacts. Let's see, what are the Rookie Retro? Since 2005-06 Retro Rookies Redemption Set, 
It's a 10 card set, one in 49 hobby. This says under the redemptions checklist. Doesn't say that it's a hit. I'm curious. Day, Spring, Summer says maybe one of the redemptions is a relic. I don't know. Casey says yes. Anthony says yes, they do. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep this box off to the side just in case. Uh, I would. All right. Let me show off the number here. Ends in 778 here for David. Just in case it doesn't count. Uh, just because it does look like. It's actually cool though. So 2005 06. I don't know if it'll be rookies from that class, but that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but that is curious there, but very cool. Nice to see different redemptions there. But all right, let's take a quick recap here for David. They get two relics here, a rookie and a non-rookie. We had Morgan Geeky out of 599 for the Hurricanes. And Kachuk out of 175 for the Flames with the two colors there. I like that a lot. We also had one regular rookie card here, Martin Kant out of 999. We had a rookie redemption for Buffalo. And the number four retro rookie redemption. We also had three base color parallels. Loving the color here. We had the orange Reinhardt out of 75. The blue Theodore out of 499. And the teal Holtby out of 45. And then I'll do it here for this box for David. Oh, so thank you so much, David, for letting me open this on up for you. Hope you enjoyed the opening whenever you get a chance to watch it and love these new additions to your collection. Like I said, I'm going to hold your box with uh, your cards just in case it is a missing hit. Um, a lot of the chat is telling me that that second redemption should count as a hit, but I'm not 100% certain. So I'm just going to go ahead and hold this for you and perhaps even include it in your package. Probably won't affect much, so... I'll go ahead and get that out for you. But let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. When I come back, I do have a birthday box of Star Wars The Mandalorian Season 1 for JRC. So let me go ahead and move this out of the way, and I'll be right back. Sweat Dog asks their way of finding out what the redemptions are. Usually, uh, once the information starts coming out, the checklist is updated to let you know which card is whose. Uh, but since this product just came out, we don't know what's what yet. KC says, you will have some with two Orem if you get two redemption. That's a hit. All right, yeah, I know, because it says in the box the Orem cards count as a hit. So memorabilia, Orem cards, or autographs. Uh, but I didn't know about one of those redemptions. Like I said, just in case, I'm going to hold the box. If we start seeing this multiple times, I'll go ahead and put the box out for recycling. But still, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Not complaining, just interesting. But let me move this out of the way, and I'll be back with some Mando. Alan says, go home. I just got back, man. We just started. Can't go home. We just started. All right. So break number 14. Let's go ahead and update our queue number. Boop. All right. We do have one Mandalorian tin here for JRC. It is his birthday box. So let's go on ahead and get on into it to buy. Snap us into the corner. And then asks if I slept. I did, but... Not enough, obviously. But all right, here we go. Let's get into this Mando tin here. Break number 14. I know Day Spring Summers did not sleep. Neither did Vinyl Dragon. All right, here we go. Seven packs per box. You are guaranteed in either an autograph or a sketch card. All right, here we go. Let's check it out, starting with pack number one. We have Imperial Death Trooper characters, Purple Parallel, Morning Thomas, 
We have Kwaki and Monkey Lizard, Aliens and Creatures insert. Blue. We have characters, IG-11. Another blue parallel. Ephus is high. Hi, Ephus. Oh, we have a silver parallel of the client. That is number two of 25, silver client. We have concept art insert, blue parallel. Oh, it looks like we have a sketch here. Ooh, ooh, it is an Andrew Fry sketch. Ooh, exciting here for JR for his birthday. Let's see, what do we have? We have a very awesome Stormtrooper. Look at that. Gorgeous sketch once again by Andrew Fry. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. That is super awesome. Yep, hand drawn, Ken. Hand drawn on that card. We have Ambin Rifle, tools insert. And last pack here for JR. We have character zero and another blue parallel. So that'll do it here for this Mando tin. Let me go ahead and straighten up these piles. Then I'll do a quick recap here. Congrats to JR on his birthday box. I think it was a pretty nice box. Let's see what we got one more time, just in case you guys forgot. We did get that silver parallel of the client number two of 25. And we also had the Stormtrooper sketch here by Andrew Fry. Of course, all sketches are unique. All of them are one of ones And that'll do it here for this box for JR. Thank you so much, JR, for letting me open this on up for you for your birthday. Hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your Star Wars collection. Very cool if I do say so myself. But let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. When I come back, break number 15, we have another Mando hobby box, but also two boxes of Topps Archive Signature Series Baseball Active Player Edition. So let me go ahead and move this out of the way. And when I come back, time for some more Star Wars and archives signature be right back Kid Dog asks, how much is that sketch worth? Um, well, if it wasn't a Stormtrooper, it'd probably be a bit more, but it's a very cool looking Stormtrooper. I'd probably evaluate it somewhere like 125-ish. Andrew Fry stuff is pretty nice. We did actually sell the Cara Dune from Masterwork for 300. So, usually it depends on the character. There's a lot of trooper collectors. JLS Productions asks, is she live? I am, hello. Where'd you get this iced coffee? Yeah, there's actually a donut shop, like, right on the corner. So I got it there. Because they're open from, like, 4 to 5 or so. So they're never open, like, when I'm here late. But now that I'm here in the morning, I was like, yeah, I'll walk over there. Why not? Good morning, JLS. It does. It tastes really good, too. I've never had anything from over there before. I mean, I've had donuts, but I haven't had any drinks. And I was like, ooh, nice. But all righty, let me grab these next boxes. Hey, Keith, welcome. Welcome. 
All right, so let's go ahead and update our Q number to 15. Do have for Andrew J here. Two boxes of 2021 Topps Archives Signature Series Baseball Active Player Edition. Way too long of a name here on these archives boxes. And also one more Mandalorian Season 1 Hobby Box 10. Like I said, for Andrew J, I'm actually going to start off with the archives boxes because those will be quick to go through. So let me put these front and center and let's get on into it by snapping us into the corner. Keith says hi from Rhode Island. Hello. Eric says good morning. Good morning, Eric. Inside these boxes, you do have one encased buyback autograph card. Some do have rare dual autos, but I'm excited to check it out. Bounty Hunter says Archives APE. That's what I've been listing it as because instead of typing out Active Player Edition, putting APE. But yes, all right, here we go. Archives box number one. It's so weird because uh, Tops has a bunch of different archives products. There's like regular archives, and then there's Archive Signature Series Active, Archive Signature Series Retro, and. Just, mm. Too much stuff going on, but all right, here we go. Let's see our first auto. We have Tommy Pham in a Rays uniform. That is number 98 of 98. Ooh, eBay one of one. Go ahead and take it out, take a peek. Do have a 2020 Top Series 1 baseball base card here that they had a buyback with the little stamp autographed on card by Tommy Pham. That is our first auto here. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, Constipated. Archives Ape. Archives. Constipated says Tommy Pham is my nephew. Very cool. Tell him we say hello. All right, second box. One more auto. Let's see who we will find for Andrew. Michael says, I'm glad your channel is on my recommended list. Hey, welcome. I'm glad you're glad to be here. All right, let's see. Who do we have? Archives box number two. We have, that's an older card. That's cool. From Bowman Polanco, 13 of 15. Jorge Polanco, I believe. Bowman Breakout. That is from 2013. Bo some sort of Bowman that's not a chrome. So not Bowman Chrome, obviously. Not Bowman's Best. Not Bowman Draft. Does regular Bowman have paper inserts? I'm not 100% certain, to be honest. But we have Bowman Breakouts here. Jorge Polanco, 13 of 15. Buyback from 2013. That's pretty cool. 13 of 15. All right. So that does it for our two boxes of archives here. Eric asks, what's a buyback auto? Hansen is correct. Says when Tops buys a card that it produces and has the player auto it. Now, sometimes if it's not an auto, it could just be a buyback. So what they do is they literally buy back their own cards and then they stamp it. So you can tell this one's a buyback because the actual, this original card was from a 2013 set, uh, but that's, it has the stamp. So you can see that like X, uh, Upper Deck has done that with like X-Men buybacks and different products. They buy the old cars from the 90s, put the stamp on it, low number it. So it's a card that's not like super rare, like that card itself. Like you can probably find this insert, probably not too expensive. But they bought back 15 of them, put the stamp on it, had him sign it. And that's what they, what's, that's what happened. All right, so the two autos there, I actually want to put them, because I don't like leaving magnetics raw. I'm gonna go ahead and get them all sleeved up in the one touch resealable bags just so I can stack them without worrying about them scratching. Sweat Dog says, yeah, do buybacks with hockey. I've seen like base card 101 buybacks. Remember actually we had a Claude Giroux 101 out of series one or something from last year. So they do on occasion. Also, I've, we've opened up out of Marvel products too, like non-comics like non -comics ones, like actual MCU products. Like we had some sort of 101 out of Infinity War that was from like the uh, the Age of Ultron set or something. All right, so those are all sleeved up, taken care of. Let's get into Andrew's tin here. All right, here we go. Steven says the rip sound is nice. I know, I love it when I do mail just doing all the team bags. It's great, it's great, good noise. It's good noises. 
I was thinking about it, like maybe I could just like live stream ASMR me doing mail, but the thing is then everyone's address would be on screen and then it's like, yeah, that's not legal. <laughs> I mean, not that it's illegal, but that's not like, don't just be showing everybody's address. That, that's no bueno. That's no bueno. All right, here we go. Let's take out member seven packs here. One guaranteed hit. Good morning, Raider. All right, here we go. Pack number one. We have characters insert the Mandalorian. In blue parallel. Aoife says open a pack of Stadium Club. Got a Jordan Alvarez 101 auto. Very nice. Steven says just show the shelf or do a graphic. But then what's the point of having the noises if you don't know what's going on? It'd be kind of weird. We have Aliens and Creatures Bantha. We have the Armorer characters insert, purple parallel. Oh, we have, looks like a bronze characters, the Armorer insert here. As number one of 50, ooh, eBay one of one, you guys. One of 50 bronze, the Armorer parallel. Concept art insert and a blue parallel. Ooh, we have a red auto. Red auto. Who is it? We have Omnatahi as Dr. Pershing. Red autograph. All right. So that is number 78 of 99. Omnatahi as Dr. Pershing. Autograph. Characters insert Cara Dune and a blue parallel. All right. Let's get you in the top loader. All right, so that is our hit of the box here for Andrew. We have Beskar armor insert, blue. Steven says, love him in American Gods in reference to Omdab Tahi. And the last pack we have, there he is again, Dr. Pershing characters insert and a purple parallel off in the way again. Very cute. All right, so that'll do it here for Andrew's three boxes. Let me go ahead and straighten these up and I'll do a recap of both the Star Wars and also those archives boxes. All right, so from the Mando tin, we did see the bronze characters insert parallel of the armor, number one of 50. We also had a red auto of Omen of Tahi as Dr. Pershing, number 78 of 99. And then for our two box of archives, we had Tommy Pham, 98 of 98, on card buyback auto. And also on card, Jorge Polanco, number 13 of 15, of course, buyback autograph. And that'll do it here for these three boxes for Andrew. Thank you so much, Andrew, for letting me open these on up for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts on these boxes in the comment section down below after you're done watching. Just I'm curious to hear what you thought. All right, let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. Move this out of the way. When I come back, we have another box of artifacts. Break number 16, one artifacts hockey hobby box for Ryan G. So hang tight, everyone. Let me move this out of the way, and I'll be back with some more artifacts hockey. All right, everyone, be right back.
Aoife says, I want to start breaking. Do you have any advice? Uh, my advice that I would give that I feel like I've followed pretty well is don't forget there's a lot of people that break out there. So you got to make people want to come see you. Like they, anybody can watch if they want to watch me, which is great. But anyone could go watch someone else open up Mandalorian. You can go watch someone else open up hockey. It's more than just showing the cards on the screen. You have to be entertaining. You have to communicate with the chat. I know there's a lot of breakers that are popular that don't even look at the chat, which I mean, you know, they get through cards faster and sometimes people tell me I'm slow, which I, I can't refute that. I am pretty slow when I open, but you know, it's like an experience. That's how I to go about it. It's an experience, you know, because you can buy a box and have anyone open it up. You got you to make sure that people actually want to come to you or want to watch you and spend time with you. That's what they're here for. They're here for you. They're not necessarily here for the cards. Because anybody else can open up cards. There has to be a reason they want to come look at your stuff. Uh, Ken Doggy Dog says you have to be hot, which is not even true. I mean, like I said, you can go look at like main breakers for like Steel City, Layton's, Platinum's, whatnot. You know, you're not looking at the person. You're there for the experience. So if you like them, you like their style, that's why you watch them. If you like me, you like my style, that's why you come watch me. So you got to make something your own. And you can't just be like showing the cards on screen and be like, all right, that's it. G the man, or the G man, the three says, do you break Pokemon too? I do. Last we had some vivid voltage, like about a month or so ago. We sell out of Pokemon very quickly in the actual shop. Um, so we don't have too much online for our shop. It just all sells out in store. Like we're not expecting the Shining Fates to last very long. I might be able to steal a few boxes to put them on the site, but probably not. Anthony says, you do a great job. Thank you, Anthony. How about coin hunting says, is she still on or what? I'm confused. Same outfit. Yeah, I wore the same outfit, so that way I didn't have to take a new thumbnail picture. <laughs> but all right, let me grab this next box here. Adjust our cue numbers and whatnot. All right, here we go. Let's update it. Break number 16 for Ryan G. 2021 Upper Deck Artifacts Hockey. Uh, the link that Andon put, TitanCardsFL.com, that is our shop link. The G Man. Andon is acting as our 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 night bot, chat bot, whatever it's called. Because I still haven't gotten that set up yet. Hey, Ryan is here. Very cool. All right, let's get on into it. Three hits per box plus one rookie redemption. Let's see what we will find by snapping us into the corner. Let's get started. Ray Rocks says, Good morning, Alien Chat. Been lurking. You do a great job with getting the viewers involved. I enjoy your stream with the occasional cosplay. Thank you, Ray Rock. Malaysia says, I was going to say, I hope you weren't up all night. Well, no, we left, or I left at like midnight because we had, we were, I was waiting for two hours for the lag to stop and it just didn't stop. And like ESPN plus and the Disney plus reports were getting worse. So I was like, this isn't going to end anytime soon. So I just went home, took a nap, came back. It did. It did, Bubba. It did. All right, here we go. Pack number one. All right, we're starting off with a bronze Shane Corson, 280 out of 299. Good morning, Legion. Captain Harlock says, I'd rather watch someone who will interact with the chat than just open the packs. That's how I feel, too. And I know that's not for everybody, which is fine. Like I said, there's a lot of different people. Like, I know people, when I open Pokemon, since we were talking about Pokemon, like, you don't do the pack trick. I'm like, go watch someone else do the pack trick, man. I don't want to do it. <laughs> you know, you can always find something for somebody to enjoy. Ian Must says, hello, Allie. Hey, Ian, good morning. All right, this pack is being difficult. Oh, we got something red coming up. That's pretty cool. Lundquist, 361 out of 399 for the Rangers. Now, Artifacts was supposed to come out, I think, like, late October 2020. So it's interesting to see. Yeah, it still has the 2020 copyright date, so these were still probably printed last year. Because usually how it works with, like, basketball and hockey products is, like, it's a, it's a, let's say it's a 1920 product, but you only know whether it came out in 2019 or 2020 based on the actual copyright date. So, these cards were probably produced in advance because we're still seeing the Holtby Capitals uniforms, Lundquist Rangers uniforms and whatnot. Ian Musk says card trick is a waste of time. I agree. I agree. Like, what's the point? I just, I don't know. 
I don't know. I feel like there's enough to go through in a Pokemon pack. I don't want to make it more difficult. Now that's cool. We have a Dominic Hossack. 198 out of 399. And another red parallel. Very cool. Welcome, Rally Rob. Oh, we have bronze here. Sean Couturier, 138 out of 299 for the Flyers. Guz Media Junkie, if you go watch that first live stream, you see me sitting there for two hours unable to do anything because the internet was not good. Uh, they put these in there because you can get really thick patch cards. El Mexinacan. So, like, people, like, you might have seen someone at, like, the card section at Target, like, touching all the packs. They're feeling for the hits. Because you can feel for the, um... So they put these in there as, like, a decoy. Decoy patch cards. Hey, we have a little super chat train going on right now. Five from Colorado Coin Hunting. Says, thanks for the hard work, Allie. Here's something for breakfast or lunch. Thank you very much. And Andin with the $5 super chat as well. Says, not that Allie doesn't appreciate super chat, but she'll read comments even if they aren't. She keeps tips slash super chats, by the way. Thank you, Andin. Much appreciated. And also Colorado Coin Hunting. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. Let's continue. Still waiting on our hits here. We got a bunch of parallels, but we haven't had any hits just quite yet. Ryan Reed is back. Welcome, Ryan. Oh, we got Big Chonker here. What do we have? That's cool. Gear 1 Rookie Sweaters patch here. 15 of 25 of Victor Olofsson for Buffalo. That's what I love about artifacts is I love these patch cards. Like, I've never opened up Hobby before, but I do own some of the nice patches. Like, I have a dual, actually. Fun story. Uh, in my final exam, rookie, rookie year, rookie college year, what's that called? Freshman, there we go. <laughs> uh, freshman year in college, I got a 100 on my Calc 2 final. And my mom took me to the card shop. And she bought me a dual Steven Stamkos Ben Bishop relic out of Artifacts, number to 15. This is my 100% of my Calc 2 final. Hey, Steven with the $5 super chat says, choo-choo, super chat train. Thank you very much, Steven. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, very cool. Jason says, I agree. I like that you interact with us and keep up the great work. Oh, thank you, Jason. Max is so glad you're opening Flesh and Blood products finally. Such a great game. Yeah, I'm excited to bring it to you guys. I know a lot of you have been excited about Flesh and Blood, so I'm glad we were able to get our hands on some of them. We have, interesting here, dual patch. That actually looks like a piece of a number there. 57 to 65 of Vander Kane for the Sharks. Did you guys know that Evander Kane had to, like, declare bankruptcy or something? He ran out of money. <laughs> Sweat Dog says, oh no, not Kane. Look, this card is worth more than him. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> and he says, hey, Allie, what size top loader do I need for that patch card? Pulled him a car patch the other day. Is it these size? If it's these size, they're 180s. The nice chunky patch cards out of Artifacts are 180 points. And like those other ones that we saw earlier, like the Holt B, just regular unnumbered relic, those were 100 points. Oh, what's, what's that? We have an Orem card here, Shea Weber, for the Canadiens. That does have a scratch code on it for the Bounty. That's Orem number 17. Jason says, that was good, Allie. Lol. Douglas says, I forgot about it. Lol. Hey, Bounty Hunter with the $10 Super Chat says, let's keep the Super Chat train going. Full Allie speed ahead. Thank you very much. Man, you guys are going nuts this morning. I was like, man, we're making good time. Maybe I will get through everything. But you guys are trying to distract me. You're trying to distract me. I see. I see. All right. We're waiting on our rookie redemption here. Constipated says, Allie, I find you interesting, amusing, like a bratty kid sister. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, we have another Orem card here. Ryan Suter. Number 24 with the Bounty Co. there. So interesting, we had that box that had two redemptions. This box is has four hits, two Orems. Interesting. It does say on average, so I don't think we're missing anything technically. We did double up on the Orem cards instead of getting a Rookie Redemption. 
but that is interesting. Ryan, if you'd like, I could put the uh, this box in your package if you wanted to try and contact Upper Deck. Say, hey, I didn't get a redemption. I don't know if they'll do anything for you. The box code here does end in 177. Upper Deck excludes the hockey now. No basketball. Basketball is with Panini. Upper Deck also has stuff like Marvel. Uh, X-Files. Things like that. Bubba says, I get my YouTube notifications like two days after you post the vid, so I was wondering if the Twitch notification was borked too. Nah, you're actually on. Yeah, I'm here. Hey, good morning, Geriatric Geek. Ryan says, thanks, Allie. You're welcome. But all right, let's do a recap here. We did get a four hit box. Let's look. We had some nice patch cards as well. Victor Olofsson, patch sweater. That, that's a cool looking piece there. That is 15 of 25. Do you have an exact date for 2021 Tops Baseball, Jason? Uh, I'm not certain. I could look it up. It does have like a hard release date, like mid-February. Uh, but I don't know actually off the top of my head what day it is. We have a Vander Kane patch here for the Sharks. 57 of 65. Green dual patch. And then we also had two Bounty Orem cards. Shea Weber and Ryan Suter. For the Canadiens and the Minnesota Wild. And then for our parallels. We didn't have a mix of the different sets here. We had the Vets player here. Lundqvist Red out of 399. Base Couture Bronze out of 299. And then the Legends, we had a Red Hasek out of $3.99 and the Shane Corson out of $2.99. And that'll do it here for this box for Ryan G. Thank you so much, Ryan, for letting me open up this box for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your hockey collection. Man, I love artifacts. There's so many cool patches. So let me go ahead and unsnap myself here, move this out of the way, and when I come back, we'll be getting into break number 17. We have another Archive Signature Series, APE, and a Heritage Minor League Baseball box for Skylar M. So let me go ahead and move this out of the way, and I'll be back with some baseball. Hey, Mad Max is here. Good morning. All right, be right back. I'm back in, don't worry. Jason, if you want, I'll check the uh, date for series one. Let's go see. Southern is like so generous. Southern's like, you can have a case. Wow, that's great. Give us a case of one of the hottest products of the year. Just one, thank you. Wow, we're so appreciative. Wow. Wow. All right, view my pre-order. Fine. Control F, Series 1. Help if I was in the window. Control F, Series. That's not how you spell Series. No, I'm struggling right now. Series 1 Baseball Hobby. Oh, we got a case and a half. Wow. 18 boxes. Thanks. 210. 210. Hey, Sky's Mixed Bag with the $10 Super Sticker. Thank you very much. Jason, it says 210. I am Greek. Yes. Soccer 4849 is now following. Thank you, Soccer. And thank you very much, Sky's Mixed Bag, for that $10 super sticker. Appreciate it. All right. So let me go ahead and update our Q number to 17 here. For Skylar M, we do have that Archive Signature Series, APE, and Heritage Minor League. Cutback Mac is now following. Hey, you're welcome, Jason. No problem. I feel like I should remember it. People keep asking. And then I'm like, yeah, February sometime. No idea. So I should just remember 210, 210, 210. 
But alrighty, I've updated the queue number, ready to go. One box, archives, active player, and one Heritage Minor League. We actually have only the one box, the one shelf box left of Heritage Minor League left. So make sure to act fast if you want Heritage. All hobby boxes are jumbo hobbies too. Uh, I think we got one case of jumbo. So what is that, like eight boxes? Or maybe we got a case and a half of each. 18 and 12. Then hopefully we'll get more from some of our other distributors. But that's like pathetic allegations. I saw that Tops is doing that that like that rip party thing again and I'm like man I want to go <laughs> but all right here we go let's get on into it break number 17 for Skylar by snapping us into the corner bounty says five boxes in the jumbo case that sounds so wrong that sounds so wrong I I actually have to go check that sounds like fake news bounty hunter that sounds fake Why would they do five boxes in a jumbo? Usually it's six. Six or eight. Yeah, it's six. Six in a jumbo, so we got two cases. So then is Hobby, is that an eight box case? Is that a 12? Am I just confused? No, it's a 12 box case. So we got two cases of jumbo, one and a half cases of Hobby. Ooh. Hey, John S. with the $10 super sticker. I love these little weird pair emojis that YouTube has. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. When is your other breaks available? Soccer, we have everything on our website. Uh, we actually do have some soccer products if you're interested. Uh, but everything on the website is available. It's just break requests are closed for today, slash tonight, slash live breaks for this week. But you can always order for next week or recorded break. I open those throughout the week if you're interested. Let's get started with this archives box. Quick one in case auto. Dylan says hi. Hi, Dylan. But all right, here we go. Let's check it out. Who is our auto? We have Colby Allard for Atlanta, number 39 of 79. That's an older Bowman card as well. Go ahead and move this box out of the way. Let's take a look here. Colby Allard for Atlanta, number 39 of 79. And this card is a 2017 Bowman. Bowman paper. Bowman draft 36. All right, 2017 Bowman draft. Colby Allard, maybe? Allard? And this is he's on the Rangers now. All right. There is our on-card auto of the box, 39 of 79. Colby Allard. All right, so let me get this in the sleeve here. That way it doesn't scratch. Sci Guy Gaming says hi. Hello. Welcome. Ephus asks, how many more people in line? We do have 34. We are actually at the halfway point. But all right, here we go. Let's get into that Heritage Minor League. Two hits per box, one on card auto, and one additional hit, whether that be a second auto, a clubhouse collection or a Clubhouse Collection Relic, or a Coin Relic, we will find out. All right. We've had some pretty nice names out of Heritage Minor League, but we have yet to see an Adley Rushman auto, so let's see if we can find one here. Starting with that box loader, Greatest Moments. All right, we have card number 20 of 20, Triple Double by Royce Lewis. One of the game's greatest moments. Hey, CV baseball card collector. Triple double. All right, so that's our box loader. Here we go, pack number one. We have Royce Lewis, little mini card. Ryan right, says so he didn't snap us into the corner. No, I'm, I snapped. Did I not snap? Am I losing it? I thought I would be awake with all the coffee today, but... Bubba says, looks like Mando Hockey Day today. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of Mando, a lot of hockey. We have the Iron Pig scratch code here. Bob Harris with the $2 Super Chat says, rest in peace, Hank Aaron. Thank you so much, Bob, for that Super Chat. And yeah, it is sad. We've been losing a lot of baseball stars recently. Tommy Lasorda recently passed away, too. I, I believe, unless I'm just confused. We've been losing a lot of legends. A lot of legends. We 
We have these scratch off Shea Langoliers. We have Nate Pearson mini card. TV baseball card collector says Don Sutton. G -Man, the G-Man says Larry King too. Baseball or sports unrelated. That is true. Larry King did pass away as well. Adley Rushman, little mini card. I don't really watch stuff like that constipated. I feel like I've heard of that first one vaguely, but I haven't heard of that second show at all. We have another scratch off here, JJ Blade. Good morning, John. Welcome. Justin says Phil Necro. I will go through and look for the three high numbers. After we're done going through all the packs. Lou Brock, Tom Sawyer, Joe Morgan, Joe Morgan, and Bob Gibson all passed away fairly recently. Says Dan. Uh, what are you? You feel weird. You feel really weird. Looks like we have another flip stock here, or vintage stock. I don't know if you guys can see the difference in the texture on the cards. But we have a flip stock here. Very cool. I felt it. I felt it. I felt like I was losing my mind the other day. I was opening up Heritage and I was like, this feels weird. It was another flip stock. Because it doesn't mention it. It, it. it doesn't even say anything up there like vintage stock or flip stock. But it is. I can look at it. I can show it to you guys. It's a different texture. It just feels really off. All right, here we go. Aoife says, how do you tell the auto? They're in a different color. Autos are typically blue. Yep, speaking of blue, we got something blue in here. We have Christian Pache, Clubhouse Collection Relic Card, blue parallel, number 87 of 99. The little, little red relic. That's our first hit of the box. We have another blue parallel coming up. We have Lookouts. For, well, it's Tyler Stevenson for the Lookouts. That is number 8 of 99, blue parallel. We have Hunter Bishop scratch off. Why do you touch the jersey? Why not? Bubba says, I love the relic testing every time. Michael ABC123 says, Allie, you have the coolest job, girl. I know, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. We have another scratch code here for the Iron Pigs. Will Ferner is now following. Thank you, Will. Appreciate it. Why do these cards keep going everywhere? We have a scratch off here, Bobby Witt Jr. And close to the end of the box here, 1894 Collections is high. Hello. All right, and last pack here should have our autograph. 
I have noticed it does always seem to be this bottom left pack that has your guaranteed auto of the box. All right, let's see who it is. And there it is. We have Ethan Linlow for the Threshers. Hey, that's Clearwater. Is that the Clearwater Threshers? They're like down US 19. It is cool. It is Clearwater Threshers. That's pretty cool. I've never seen a Clearwater Threshers card before. Ethan Linlow from Locust Grove, Georgia, but plays down the street, kind of, sort of, for Clearwater. That's cool. I didn't realize the Clearwater Threshers had, like, cards, because I've never seen anybody on a card. So that's actually really cool. AP94 Collection says, love your videos. Thank you. Appreciate it. John says, what do you got to scratch off? You can play, like, a little game with it. There's instructions. You can, like, compete, like, scoring home runs or something. But, all right, pretty cool. Clearwater Threshers Auto. I actually like that a lot. I feel obligated to go collect Clearwater Thresher stuff now. Kyoji says, my god, you're still up. No, I'm back. We had to stop, Kyoji. The, all, all like streaming service were taking a dump last night. So to, after two hours of lag just getting worse and just sitting there doing nothing, I decided to pack it up, go home, and come back in the morning. So I haven't been up all night this time. I understand why you guys would assume that because this has actually happened a decent amount of times, but not, not this time. Not this time. All right, so let me go through. Oh, right there, Nick Magigal's our first high number. Between cards 201 and 225 are our high numbers. Should be three per box. Now, I didn't go, like, the exact order of the packs, but typically all these different inserts and whatnot clump together. You'll find all the mini cards in a row. You'll find all the short prints in a row. You'll find usually the scratch-off cards all kind of close to each other. 210, Xavier Edwards, high number. Two oh nine Casey Mize. All right, so there is our there are there are our three. Yeah, there we go. Can you make more Opeachy or Series One hockey? We do have more Series One. We don't have any more Opeachy. We'll have Opeachy Platinum if whenever that comes out. The solicit hasn't been given to us. Most recent hockey product we've been able to order is SPX hockey. We ordered five cases, so we ordered a hundred boxes. We'll see. Literally, Bounty Hunter and Charlie H just ate up all of SPX last year. So, I'm sure it'll be popular again. But here's our high numbers, Nick Madrigal, Xavier Edwards, and Casey Mize. Darth Vader asks, how much is this box? We have them. We have one left at 65 shipped. And we also had a flip stock here, Grant Levine. Card number 73. Had a blue parallel, Tyler Stevenson. Number 8 of 99. Also had Blue Relic, Christian Pache, 87 of 99. And our autograph for the Clearwater Threshers, Ethan Lindlow, is a pitcher. I think that's really cool. When you get a look at the difference between the front and the back. This is haircut version, this is not haircut version. Alright, and that'll do it here for Skyler. Also, don't forget we had that Colby Allard auto. Alright, now that'll do it here for Skyler. So thank you so much, Skyler, for letting me open up more for you. Sky's Mixed Bag. Says, thank you for the break. Have a great day. You too, Skylar. Thank you very much for letting me open these on up for you. It's great to see your name pop up again. But that will do it here for this box. Let me go ahead and move everything out of the way. When I come back, we have three more Mando tins. Those are for John S. John S. Is it you or you the John S. with the Mando tins? I like trying to recognize everyone's usernames. All right, let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. Move this out of the way, and I'll be back. Bubba asks, do the sports jerseys very much in texture? Actually, on football, it depends on where it comes from. Sometimes it can be, like, silky smooth. Sometimes it can be kind of cottony. Um, so, yeah, it actually does a little bit. Typically in hockey, if it's a patch, it's got the patch texture. If not, it, it's just the regular jersey. Uh, but football, I felt variations. Will asks, how much of the Mando tins? We sold out. We had them at 120 which is a lot, but it was thirty dollars under eBay. We actually, we originally had them at I think ninety, and then they went to ninety-five, and then went to a hundred, and then they went to one hundred six, and then our last case we had them at one twenty. All right, John S is the John S. Very cool. But I'll be back with those three tins. We are all sold out of Mando, by the way. Next Star Wars, unless we get if, if we don't get in those extra cases of Masterwork we were hoping to get, uh, we will have Signature Series when that comes out, and then we ordered like. 
like 40 cases of Mando season two. We don't expect to get all of it, but hopefully we do. That would be fun. But all right, everyone, hang tight. I'll be back with John S.'s tins. See you, AP94. Heck, I'm double fisting drinks right now. One hot, one cold. Sometimes you just need to switch it up. No, but what I did is I made the hot chocolate in the Keurig first. I was like, yeah, I don't want to walk over to the donut shop. And then I was like, I do want to go over there. So while the Keurig was running, I went and I got something else. <laughs> and then obviously I can't abandon it. This is good though. This is almost done. John S. is my first break and I'm excited. Yay. All right, let me move these tins over here onto the play mat. And then I'm going to adjust the Q shelf real quick, update our Q number, and then we'll get started. Alright, we're very close to having just one row of a Q shell. Comic Con says, Allie, are you collecting the Padme Rainbow from Holocron? It sent a message on Facebook, but I know someone that pulled a printing plate and is gonna sell. Oh, cool. Uh yeah, I actually I am doing just the um the uh the card on Naboo from episode two. I already have the cyan plate. I'll have to ask Boss Man to show me that message. But I, I Eddie actually, Eddie S. Who I've opened up Masterwork before actually reached out to me says he got the cyan plate and I got that off of him. But Jason says, Good morning, glad to see the lagging is gone. Hopefully, you don't get to mine for a couple hours, lol. Jason, when is yours? Jason, do, 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 Jason, I see Jason M. Jason, I'm not seeing it in my list. What did you have? I'm curious. I'm curious. Oh, Jason M. Jason, why are you changing your name up on me? All right. Uh, yeah, your boxes are... Hey, break number 30, artifacts and two core set pre-release kits. Now, probably will be a little bit of time. I do need to get out of here by 12.15, though, which is why I'm trying to go a bit faster than usual. But, um... Yeah, so if I don't get to your box today, I'll probably send you an email, ask if you want it recorded instead, or for next week. But I'm hopeful to get through as much as I can today and not have to postpone anybody. Let me go ahead and update our queue number, though. I can talk and do that. Hey, no problem. I was just confused. I was like, Jason L. I'm confused. Jason's switching things up on me. Hey, good morning, Joey. Welcome. All right, we are about to get into break number 18. Three Mando tins here for John S. Now, we just did see that awesome Andrew Fry sketch. I don't think we've seen any gold parallels in a while. Haven't seen a 101 in a while. Only got that one best car for Cherry that one time. But let's go on ahead and get on into these three tins by snapping us into the corner. And here we go. Let's get on into it. AP94 says, so just wondering, you're going to reduce prices for Series 1 hockey closer to spring? No. I mean, we have only, I think, the leftover boxes that are listed and, and just like one case or so maybe. We've sold through almost all of it. And it does sell healthily week to week, so it'll probably all be sold out and then gone. 
I imagine by the time the next big hockey product comes out, it'll be sold out. Because we, we still regularly go through Series 1. And still, we're still under under eBay on it, so. Alright, here we go. First in, let's get started. Pack number 1. Like, that's the thing. Even you look on Cardboard Connection. It shows lowest price for artifacts online is 154 a box. We have ours at 125 uh, so we try, even if it's like norm, higher than normal, we try to still be under market on boxes if we can. We have characters, Moff Gideon insert, blue parallel. Sponix says, is that an MTG Mac? And it is. It's one of the new Kaldheim mats. It just came in on Thursday. I'm excited to open up those pre-release kits this upcoming weekend. We have our open soccer on occasion. We don't have too large of a soccer audience here. We actually do have some products in stock, but they're quite expensive. Uh, we have Quacking Monkey Lizard Aliens and Creatures insert. We do try to order soccer every time. We usually get allocated pretty pretty harshly. Uh, we should be getting, starting with 2021, start be getting more products. But we do order every just about every European soccer product that comes out. We don't really order any like MLS stuff. We try to order everything that comes out for European soccer. It just depends if they let us buy it or not. We have characters insert Quill. Good morning, JT Cooper. It says morning bot instead of night bot. Not this time, landmark collectibles. We were having internet problems, so I, I cut it after two hours of waiting for it to fix itself and then just came back in the morning. Concept art insert and a purple parallel. Uh, yeah, Brandon, last night, the first two breaks were both boxes of contenders. Oh, we have a sketch card here. I think the artist that signs their name like this is Jason Montoya, but I'm not 100% certain. But I think that is who does this, Jason Montoya. Well, let's check it out. We have, oh, that is cool. Good thing Bossman's not here, John, because uh, John, Bossman is also named John, but he would want this off of you. So good thing Bossman's not here to harass you, but that is a really cool IG-11 sketch here. Very, very cool. Very nice. That is dope. Like I said, good thing John's not here. And then says, Allie's on her game. It's Jason Montoya. Nice. It's almost like I, I'm good at remembering things. <laughs> so very cool sketch here. Starting off our first of three tins. Bending Kill asks, when can we start subscribing on Twitch? Never. Twitch doesn't like it if you stream on multiple platforms. It's against their terms of service if you're an affiliate, which I met the requirements for affiliate like two weeks in <laughs> but I can't do it because I stream on YouTube yeah I know you'd think Twitch with all their problems that they're having with people leaving for different platforms would like stop that but whatever alright last pack of tin number one We have the child characters insert and a purple parallel. All right, and that'll do it for our first box here. Let's get into the second one. All right, next seven packs. All right, here we go, pack number one. So Frito says, so did you sleep? I did, not as long as I'd have liked to. I don't know why, even if I'm like super tired after, after I'm done with a stream, like I'll get home and like even my exhaustion, I'll, I'll try to lay down, but I'll be like super wired just thinking about stuff. Yeah, Landmark, it was crazy. Like Disney Plus was down at ESPN. People were having problems with their UFC streams. Uh, from what I've heard, the, the uh, not not super legal streams of the fights last night were fine, but the actual official streams were having issues. Reborn Condor is now following. Thank you, Condor. Let 
But yeah, a lot of places were having issues. Also, apparently, I, I had checked out Layton's and Houdini to see how they were doing. They, their internet seemed fine. But I believe Mike's daddy earlier in chat had mentioned that the Blez brothers were having issues last night with, with breaks, too. So... So a lot of people were having issues last night. I tried waiting it out for two hours. Jason says, well, I'm, since I'm here, write down that if you don't get to my break, it can be a personal break. All right, thank you, Jason. I think we're making good enough time that I'll get through everything. Uh, but I don't want to just assume people want to wait till next week when they expected it this weekend. But that's good, so I don't have to message you. I know I'll, I'll be able to squeeze that in. Um, I'll do it on Monday if I don't get to it today. Ishlima is now following. Thank you, Ishlima. We have concept art. So what's up with the name change, Jason? Not judging, just curious. Is that like your actual name? Or where you're like, let me stop having my actual name and put that? Or is that like a middle name? Or like, what's up? I'm curious. I'm nosy. You don't have to answer. I'm just nosy. <laughs> oh, we have an autograph here. Good morning, Papa Rican. Looks like a base auto of, of course, Bartlett's as Ferryman. Just a base auto, but it is not very common. It's a bit short printed. Chris Bartlett as Ferryman. Sponix says, what a waste of package. Jason says, that's my middle name. Ah, okay. Interesting. Chris Bartlett as Ferryman is our first auto of these boxes. The tins are really cool, though. We actually do ship all the tins unless people say they don't want the tins. They're good for storage and whatnot. Oh, also, by the way, it's it's confirmed. I mean, Tops can always change it, but on the uh, the product sell sheet for Series 2 or Season 2, it says Baby Yoda tins. We have Gravity Charge, Tools of the Bounty Hunter insert, and another blue parallel. And last pack here. Client characters and purple off-world Jawa. Cute, 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 cute. All right, last 10 here for John. Sorry, I hit send when my cat jumped in my lap. No problem, Spawn It. Jay Money says, good morning from San Diego. Good morning. Pending Kill says, actually love the packaging, but at some point these card companies are going to have to realize the way the market is now that a paper bag will still sell cards. That is true. I appreciate the, like, tiny bit of extra effort, though, on Tops' part here. Uh, Landmark, we have Series 1, I think, at 129 shipped. I think that's what the Series 1 boxes are. All right, here we go. Pack number one. We have Imperial Death Troopers characters insert. We have Clatoonian Raider, Aliens and Creatures. Hoping to help Blue Parallel. We have characters, IG-11. Village Under Siege, Purple Parallel. Yep, Landmark, and that includes shipping to anywhere in the U.S. Uh, Canada, we do have to charge extra because unfortunately it, it's not cheap. So we do still cover uh, a Unless you're, like, on the border in Quebec, uh, usually we do have to actually cover extra, too, on top of uh, international shipping charge. So we, we try to do what we can, but unfortunately, we do ask that you guys contribute in the form of that extra shipping charge for Canadian orders. We have Concept Art, a blue parallel. All right, let's see what our final hit is here. All right, looks like we have another auto. Yep, Landmark. So we have, uh, if you don't want the base cards, which I think actually you could probably buy a base card, a base set 
for probably the same price, I guess, if you were to choose the extra base shipping option. Because in the U.S., we do include everything. We do ship all base to Canada. We have two options. We have the 15. It's flat rate, 15 and then 30. Uh, 15 is just inserts and hits. And then the 30 is um, everything, all base, inserts, hits. All right, let's see who our auto is. Looks like another base auto here of Gina Carano. Very nice. Nice three tins here for John. Very nice. Gina base auto. All right, see you, Jason. Take care. Gina Carano, base auto. Very nice. Jason says, time for work, boo. See you around 9.30 or so if you're still going. I'll still be uh, 9.30 your time. It is what, 12.30, I think, for me? I'm actually going to probably have to finish off here at around 12.15, Jason. So you'll probably be a little bit too late. But maybe just because the stream's short, it'll have processed by then and you can check everything out. All right, we have characters, Toro Calican, Blue Parallel. Bubba says, man, these tins lately seem much better on average than the earlier cases you opened. It's a very mixed bag. Very mixed bag. I feel like we've seen a lot of trawlers recently, which uh, we got to a period where we weren't seeing trawlers. And also, we've been seeing a lot of sketches. Also, it's weird because we've been seeing a lot of Omera redemptions, too, which, like, you kind of forget about them because they're not, like, you don't see what the card looks like. You're like, oh, redemption. But, yeah, we've seen some really nice sketches and stuff recently. A lot of numbered parallels. We have grappling cable insert. Purple parallel. And last pack here for John. All right, we have characters insert zero and another blue parallel. All right, and that'll do it here for these three boxes for John. No actual numbered parallels here. We've been seeing a lot of them recently, but this box we didn't have. All right, see you, Jason. Take care. Let's go over our hits here. Definitely some nice autos and a gorgeous sketch. Base auto of Gina Carano as Cara Dune. Base auto of Chris Bartlett as Ferryman. And also this really cool Jason Montoya IG-11 sketch. One of one, of course, as all sketch cards are. But that'll do it here for John. Thank you so much, John, for letting me open up these three tins for you. I'm very glad that you enjoyed the opening. And I hope you're in love with all these new additions to your collection. It's going to be so sad when Mando's out. We've just had so many that it's like, oh, we're never going to run out of Mando. And man, we're actually out now. But it's crazy. The Benny Show says, are those wet autographs? I'm not 100% uh, certain what you mean by that. If you mean just like on the card, the uh, artist signatures are just directly on the card. Uh, the regular autos from the set are all sticker autos. Masterwork has on-card autos. John says, thank Allie, thank you. I'm very happy with everything. Very glad to hear it. But let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. Move this out of the way. Gonna have to take a couple trips because the tins are a little bit hard to juggle. And when I come back, we do have four Douglas 2021 Upper Deck Artifacts Hockey Hobby Box. So hang tight, everyone. I'll move this out of the way and I'll be back with some more hockey. Are they printed or signed? They're, they actually signed. So what happens is like all the different artists just get sent all the blank cards. So they don't have like their, their names written on them or anything. The artists have to sign the actual back of the cards. Uh, not the Mando tins, the G-Man last set that Luke, Mark Hamill actually signed for, I believe it was 20, 2017 Masterwork slash Stellar, which everyone came out first. He doesn't sign anymore, uh, which is why his cards are very expensive too. Uh, but last year he'd signed stuff was 2017. Him and Tops got into like a fight, so whatever. Anyways, let me move this out of the way and I'll be back with some artifacts before Douglas passes out. Emily, it's a Sunday morning stream. Uh, we were in Lag City last night, so I just ended early and came back. Now, uh, is it Twitch that doesn't let you broadcast anywhere else or just at the same time somewhere else? Uh, you can broadcast on different platforms at the same time. YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Actually, you could set it up to have all three going at the same time. But you can't make any money on Twitch. Um, 
you can't be a Twitch partner or a Twitch affiliate. Uh, affiliates, the lower level requirements, partners like higher level. You can't be a Twitch partner and affiliates and stream at the same time. And you also have to have, to have your content be exclusive to Twitch for at least 24 hours. So that's not something we can really do here. So I lose out on that, but whatever. Super chats and donations on Twitch still work. So whatever, whatever. Anyways, let me finish moving everything out of the way. Uh, they don't at the moment, G-Man, but they might have in season two. They might. There might be one. Who knows? Paparican says, Allie received those Outlander cards and the wife absolutely loves them. Also emailed Cryptozoic and linked the video, so fingers crossed they hear back from them. All right, very cool, Paparican. Definitely let me know. Definitely let me know what happens. Emily says, well, not great to hear you were having connection problems, but hey, now I get to watch. Yeah, we're going to be here for a little bit. Um, also, yeah, so we're having those issues. Like, apparently ESPN+, Plus, the UFC official stream, Disney+, Plus, we're all having problems last night, too. The Bles Brothers had issues, so... Pretty widespread internet issues last night. I waited for two hours and it didn't get better, so I, I just capped it. Well, not capped, but took off early and came back here in the morning. Darth Vader asks, does Hayden Christensen sign for anything? He does. He does, actually. Most recently signed for Masterwork. Uh, he might be taking a break from signing for a little bit because there are very few autos in Masterwork. So, yeah, I think he only had the uh, silver frames and less, so out of five out of ones and printing plates. G-Man says, it's really nice that you know so much about all the cards, card types. Hey, I try my best. I know I don't know everything, but I, I try to learn as I go and still hopefully provide good quality entertainment for you guys. But he, Hayden Christensen signed a little bit in some of the old Evolution sets, which are actually very expensive because they're quite rare, and then started signing again a lot starting in 2017. With 2017 Masterwork, that was his first time back, and then he also signed in Stellar. Um, he has a lot of sticker autos too. Those are usually like lower numbered parallels and like Galactic Files and Holocron I'm sure has some Hayden stickers. I've actually seen him on multi-autos so I know they're there. And also on-card autos and things like Masterwork Stellar. Hey Frankie, welcome. Hopefully you're able to get Lindsay some awesome cards. She likes Jerb now but doesn't have any cards anymore. Hoping for Alexis. Maybe we can get a, a Dubois card in here still on a Columbus uniform. But all right, let me go ahead and update our queue number 219. Bubba says Allie's pretty good on knowing stuff and answering questions. On the rare occasion she doesn't know, someone in the chats does know. That That's also what's great. Anytime I don't know something, one of you guys knows too. You guys can help me, which is great. Thank you so much. But all righty, let's get into this next break here. Break number 19, one more Artifacts Hockey Hobby Box. This time for Douglas C. Let's check it out by snapping us into the corner. That snap was actually inaudible. Good job, me. All right, here we go. Darth Vader says, okay, thanks. Actually, just got an evolution. Ooh, very cool. Nice, nice. I want Hayden to play Batman instead of Robert Pattinson. Did you get that peppermint beverage from Boss Man? No, I think Boss Man's still sleeping. All right, here we go. Pack number one. Oh, we're starting off with a green Orum. Number four of 25, Mark Stone for Vegas. All right, so that actually doesn't have the little scratch code on it, but it is a green parallel. Starting off pack number one with a hit. Amanda Conda is now following. Thank you, Anna Amanda Conda. All right, we have Blackhawks Rookie Redemption. And number 187. Ryan Spittin' Facts says a human head weighs about eight pounds on average. Don't want to know how you know this information, but thank you for that weirdly, weirdly dark fun fact here at 10.30 in the morning. And so does a gallon of milk. There's no way a gallon of milk weighs eight pounds. I don't believe. All right, I think Ryan's lying to me. Anyways, 
Lee says, I wish Titan had a Canadian shop. That would be awesome. If I ever have to flee to Canada, sure thing. I'll start a shop up there. Convince my uncle to give me a loan. We have a dual relic here, Andreas Athanasiu, out of 175. Steven says it does. It does what? The head or the milk? Bubba says a gallon of water weighs eight pounds. Does a gallon of milk really weigh eight pounds? I don't feel like they feel that heavy. Oh, there, it's a Jerry Maguire quote. Bubba says, so milk would be similar. Just doesn't feel like they're that... Doesn't feel like they're that heavy. Steven says, yeah, interesting. Andon says, gallon of milk weighs 8.344 pounds, according to the liquid United States gallon. Man, I must have been a strong kid lifting milk, man. I guess. That's where my that's why my arms haven't fallen off yet. Years of weight training from carrying milk gallons. Oh, we have something red here. Hey, look at that. Red laugh out of 399. This means I'm now allowed to keep all the lightning cards, right? That's how this works. That was the exchange. Get you a cool laugh, and I get to keep all the lightning stuff. Is this getting a top loader? Probably. Or not. You ever try to hold three gallons in one hand? They add up quick. You know what I like, Karen? What I like because my dad's really into Diet Coke, so when we buy, like, the 12 packs on sale and they're, like, four for 12 or whatever, I like holding three of them in my hand. Easy to carry one on my pinky, and then you split the other two up here. And then the, the, the ring finger just kind of hangs out, and you carry the three 12 packs. Strong woman. Anyways, next pack. Oh, we have Matthew Barzal, dual relic here out of 145. And we have a Tavares out of 399 red. Yes, lightning is yours. Very cool. Thank you. Have we seen any lightning cards? And ha and it says, haha, I Russian woman carry three 12 packs of Coke in one hand. I mean, Florida. No. I'm not Russian. I'm Greek, actually. We have Sebastian Aho red out of 399. This seems to be the red box. All right, two packs left here for Douglas. Braid and points. That's mine. Very cool. We have Tundra teammates, duos, Alex DeBrincat and Dylan Strom out of 249 Dual Relic. Tundra teammates. You have any Vivid Voltage in stock? Been looking? No, we've been out for a while. Ishlima, sorry. The three dual relics here in this box. That's actually pretty nuts. Three dual relics and a Mark Stone Orum. Hey, Fujane, what's up? Last pack here. We got something green. There's Mark Sheffley out of 99. 29 of 99. And that'll do it. So we actually did get a bonus here. I was like, oh, we were probably missing our redemption. But we got our redemption like pack number one. Bob says Allie's going to weigh her milk when she gets home. Maybe. Oh, there was a Dubois here. I didn't even notice. Lindsay's consolation prize. And I think just that one Braden point card. Now, thank you for the donation of the one Braden point card. Appreciate it, Douglas. Well, let's go ahead and do our recap here. I can flatten up this box because we're not missing anything. Well, let's check it out. We did get the Orem Green Parallel 4 of 25 Mark Stone. At three dual relics, the teammate duos, DeBrincat and Strom out of 249. The Barzal out of 145. And the Athanasio out of 175. We also had that red rookie Lafreniere, 364 out of 399 for the Rangers. The Blackhawks rookie redemption. Steven says, I've tried it. It does weigh eight pounds. I didn't believe it either. Shout out to Steven for breaking out a gallon of milk in a scale. Checking for me. Fujang says, Ali, our AFC Championship tough call. Just put me on mute, Fujang, and just check the hits and then watch the other thing in a different window. 
We have Mark Sheffley Green out of 99, Aho out of 399, and Tavares out of 399 as well. And that will do it here for this box for Douglas. Thank you so much, Douglas and Lindsay, for letting me open this on up. I hope you both enjoyed the opening. Lindsay's probably asleep, if I had to guess. But thank you so much, you guys, for letting me open this on up for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Very cool on that laugh parallel. So I hope you guys liked it. But let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. Fujang says, I would never. Good morning, by the way. Happy breaking. Hey, thank you, Fujang. Good morning. Sandwell says, 2% or 1%? Um, I actually don't mind either. I think usually it's 2% I go for, then 1% skim milk, right? So I think 2%. Are there videos of you opening up autographed mini helmets? Yep, Bucky. Uh, if you go search on the YouTube channel, search for mini helmet, they should pop up. I have opened up Leaf and TriStar mini helmets. I actually prefer the mini helmets to the full-size ones because they're cuter. Uh, but yeah, we do tend to get in occasionally when they come out, the autographed mini helmet blind boxes and stuff. But all right, let me go ahead and move this out of the way. When I come back, we have a box of Synergy for James K. Right number 20 coming up next. Do you still have to leave at 12.30, though? AFC Champ starts at 1. I have to leave because I actually already had a prior commitment this afternoon. I have to leave probably around 12.15 because I need to head out by 12.30, so I have to finish everything out. Um, do you need to um, do that? But all right, let me move this out of the way. When I come back, I'll be back with Synergy for James K. So hang tight, everyone. See you momentarily. Jeremy says the red laugh is going for roughly $400. That's actually ridiculous. That's actually stupid. And no wonder Steel City's charging $150 a box. Hey guys, we still have like 10 boxes left at $124.99. You want to shop with Titan, the coolest online internet weird girl. Jeez, that is actually Doug. Can, Andin, can you imagine Star Wars at cards out of three ninety nine that went for four hundred bucks? Joey says, "What a great way to start Sunday morning with Allie." I'm sorry about the tech issues last night. It's okay, Joey. How much cost pack of ice hockey cards? We don't sell online by the pack. We have boxes in stock. Um, I'm going to be restocking. I think two boxes of Synergy at eighty nine ninety nine. Artifacts is $124.99. Series 1, $129.99. Chronology, we had at $150. We're all sold out. I think that's actually it we have for hockey right now. All righty. Let me go ahead and update our queue number 220. Constipated asks if I take food stamps. No, I do not. Sorry. But all righty, break number 20 here. We do have a 2021 Upper Deck Synergy Hockey Hobby Box for James K. The UPC on this box does end in 441. A lot of the boxes we've been seeing recently have been pretty good about having good quality cards. However, if I see anything dinged or damaged, I will go ahead and put this box in your package, James, just if you want to contact Upper Deck for any replacements. But let's go on ahead and get on into this box here. Fingers crossed for no issues by snapping us into the corner. Bounty Hunter still hating. Still hating on Synergy. All right, here we go. Let's get into it. I like it. I don't know if I like it enough to buy a box, but like I like the way Synergy looks. I want credentials. I want more credentials. Hopefully they do credentials again this year. All right, here we go. Starting off the Pierre Olivier Joseph rookie. As a bounty. Exceptional Young Stars, Connor McDavid out of 749. And Malkin, Stanley Cup Journey out of 999. Naruto Drip. We just came back at 9. We we're having a lot of lag issues last night, so we just ended early and started back up a little bit ago. Jossie99 says hello from Scotland. Hey, welcome. Good morning, Windy City. We have Connor Ingram, rookie. 
Hey, we have a bonus card in here. We found uh, Jason's missing card from the other day. We have, look at that. We have Rookie Purple Parallel, 12 of 15, Vili Kravtsov. Very cool. Speaking of Kravtsov, we also have a Synergy Effects card right there out of 749. Roaring 20s, Tyler Benson. Now this card does seem to have like a weird print line down the middle. So I guess I'll go ahead and hold on to the box. That is frustrating. But for me, I see print lines all the time. It doesn't particularly bother me. But just in case, James, if you want to ask Upper Deck if they can do anything about that, I'll keep the box for you. But very cool hit here. Starting off the box pretty nicely. Another nice rookie for the Rangers. Welcome, Rhino. We have Matisse Kivlenix. We have Ryan McLeod. Synergy Effects Green out of 99. And Constant Threats Nikita Kucherov. We have Wayne Gretzky. That's a bounty card. Ryan McLeod, Exceptional Futures out of 749. And Mikey Anderson, Rookie Journey, out of $8.99. Quality of eggs are triple A, double A, and B, and judged by the elasticity of the yolk. Over time, AAA eggs will turn into AA eggs. In the U.S., consumers can only buy AAA and AA. Canada does sell B-grade eggs. Ryan, I'm confused, but I also in I actually really enjoy these weird facts. Welcome, Gabriel. We have Mark Stone, Bounty Code. Mark Stone, Exceptional Stars out of $7.49. And Rookie Journey, Timothy Lilsgren out of $8.99. That sounds pretty cool, Joey. I'm still partial to the box that had the dual canvas auto of Ahsoka, uh, the Snoke one of one pen relic, and also also the dual costume relic number to 50. That was my preferred box, but still. That sounds like a pretty good box there, Joey. McLeod. All right, thanks, Frank. I'll, I'll keep that in my memory next time we see the McLeod card. Ryan McLeod. All right, thank you. Tyler Bertuzzi. We have Shane Bowers, Exceptional Futures out of 749. Perennial All Stars, Shea Weber. Looking like a little, little crunchy corners there. Upper deck, why? Oh, we, well, that bonus card from earlier, we found it that it was missing from this pack. But we have a Kucherov Bounty, Carter McMichael Rookie Journey. Out of $9.99. And the last pack here for James. We have Genny Malkin. Victor Soderstrom. Pink Synergy Effects out of $3.49. And Austin Matthews Roaring Twenties. And Dusty Archuleta just bought us out of all of our uh, Coldheim pre release kits. Alrighty, so that'll do it for this box here. Let me not move that out of the way. Let me keep that there. Let's do our recap here for James. Did have four bounty codes here. Kucherov, Stone, Gretzky, and Joseph. And we also had a handful of nice acetate cards. We had the Exceptional Young Stars McDavid out of 749. Stone Stars out of 749, Futures Bowers out of 749, and McLeod Futures out of 749. Also had some nice Synergy Effects cards. We had Green out of 99, Pink out of 349, and Kravtsov out of 749. Then for our different Journey cards, we had Rookie Journey McMichael out of 999. And then two away jersey journeys out of eight ninety nine Leels Grin and Anderson, and then Stanley Cup journey out of nine ninety nine regular season Malkin photo. 
And then perhaps the coolest card of the box didn't have that purple rookie parallel here, 12 of 15, Billy Kravtsov for the Rangers, card number 131. That'll do it here for this box of Synergy Hockey for James. So thank you so much, James, for letting me open this on up for you. Hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your hockey collection. As I was mentioning, I'll go ahead and include the box with your order. If you wish to contact Upper Deck about any of the weird card issues, there was that one insert that had some corners. Also, I think maybe the Gretzky had some marks on it. And also perhaps that print line on the crab soft. So if you're interested in contacting the box, the uh, Upper Deck for any replacements, you will need this box. So don't forget, it does end in 441 if you have any boxes lying around. Uh, each box has a unique UPC, so you probably don't want to send the wrong one on accident. But I'll go ahead and include that in your package. And hopefully, you are still very pleased with your new cards. Now let me go ahead and unsnap myself here. When I come back, break number 21 is another box of Synergy, this time for Charlie H. Charlie, last week out of Synergy, did get a Quinn Hughes auto out of 35. So we'll see if we can bring Charlie some more great luck with that box coming up next. So hang tight, everyone. I'll be right back. All right, the Q shelf is down to one row. Nice. All righty. Let me go ahead and update our Q number to 21. Stewie Mac asks, will we be opening those Star Wars boxes? If you mean the ones behind me, yes, I'll be getting through all those. Those the last of our Mando tins. I'll be opening those up. All right, we're about to get into break number 21. Another Synergy box here, like I said, this time for Charlie H. Let's go on ahead and check it out. Bye. Snapping us into the corner. Dan Kadar asks, have you been up all night? Nope, I left around midnight last night because the lag was not improving, so we just gave up. And I came back here starting at 9. So, all right, here we go. Let's get into it. Synergy Hockey for Charlie H. All right, here we go. Pack number one. Starting off with the Max Packs. As a bounty code, Mira Heiskanen out of 749. And Constant Threats Panarin insert. Good morning, Aaron. Welcome. All right, we have John Tavares here, unfortunately, with the little lip. That is a bounty code. We have Matthew Barzal out of 749 and Roaring 20s, Josh Norris. When do you think you guys will find out how much Signature Series Star Wars we'll be getting? I think we're getting... I know we're getting 200 from Southern. I think we're getting 100 from All Sports. So 300 boxes. That is 15 cases, 15 cases, I think, Trimmy. Morning, Christina. Yeah, last night we were having issues with like the internet, so we just gave up early and I came back to, of course, try and finish everything up in the morning. We have Victor Soderstrom. We got something purple back here. Rookie, are you an auto? This is 26 out of 65. Not an auto, but we do have another print lined purple here. Stuart Skinner for the Oilers. Interesting that that purple here is out of 65 and that other one was out of 15. Stuart Skinner and Connor McMichael rookie journey out of 7.99. Soderstrom was not a bounty version. I'm 
Patrice Bergeron. Exceptional Stars Yellow Book out of 749. And John Carlson out of 749. Not sure yet, Mad Max. Like I said, usually we try to be a little bit under market, but not too much where people can just buy from us and resell online. Because that happens, you know. We have Jansen Harkins, Bounty Code, Pink, Evgeny Malkin out of 349, and Claude Giroux, Perennial All Stars. Mikey Anderson, rookie. Mark Stone out of 749 and Constant Threats Matthews. Hey, good morning, Justin. Uh, archives today, we've had Tommy Pham, Jorge Polanco, and Kobe Allard out of our three archives today, Justin. We have John Gibson. Nick Suzuki, Exceptional Young Stars, out of $7.49. And Nicholas Lindstrom, Stanley Cup Journey, out of $8.99. And last pack here for Charlie. All right, we have Calvin Thurkoff, rookie. Elias Patterson out of 749. And Martin Cott, rookie journey out of 999. And that'll do it here for this box for Charlie. Let me go ahead and finish getting this sleeved up, and then we'll do our recap here. Charlie, I will put the box in your package just in case you are interested in it. Mr. Elos is out here, the holocron box of the target worth picking up. The puzzle sketch card pieces are exclusive to retail. I've actually been seeing a lot of people get printing plates, sketch cards, and red one-of-ones out of retail. I mean, of course, always retail is a gamble. Retail typically isn't great. But it does seem like there's a lot of nice stuff coming out of Holocron retail this year. So I, I would say you pick them up. They're actually not the easiest to find. And actually, you could resell them on eBay for more than you paid for. Are you going to make money after shipping? Probably not. But just saying people are actually flipping Holocron blaster boxes. Anyways, let's do a recap here for Charlie as I try to hide my disappointment in humanity. But we did get a purple rookie, 26 out of 65, Stuart Skinner for the Oilers. Also had bounty codes, back to the 2-2 split rookies, Harkins and Mikey Anderson, and Vets, Tavares and Pacoretti. Synergy effects, just one parallel this time, Malkin out of 349. Then we had Carlson, Barzal, and Stone out of 749. Just the one Stanley Cup journey, Lindstrom, out of $8.99. Two rookie journeys, McMichael, out of $7.99, out of $9.99 on the cots. Exceptional Stars, Yellow Buck, out of $7.49. Uh, Blaster Box, Bubba, are the retail boxes that aren't like mega boxes. Mega boxes are the ones that are usually like 60 bucks. Usually have like a guaranteed auto or relic in them. And then the boxes usually with like 8 to 10 packs. That are like this big. Do I have leaf somewhere? So this is what a blaster box looks like. They're this shape. This is actually the retail ones. It has two autos. Hobbies had three. I don't know why we just got the retail ones. But that's what a blaster box is. Justin says the patch cards I think are reselling on eBay. I just want a Porg patch. I got a green Luke Tauntaun in the one box that I found. I don't want it. Someone trade me for a porn, please. And then, all right, let's finish off this exceptional Young Stars pile. I got distracted. Sorry, Charlie. We had Pedersen out of 749, Suzuki out of 749, and Heiskanen out of 749. And that will do it here for this box of Synergy Hockey for Charlie. So thank you so much, Charlie, for letting me open this on up for you. Hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Very cool to see back-to-back low-numbered rookie boxes. Unfortunately, both did seem to be attacked by that print line. Like I said, that's something that doesn't bother me too much. But just in case, Charlie, you'd like to contact Upper Deck, we'll include the box. And again, it ends in 607.
I'm gonna go ahead and unsnap myself here. Move this out of the way. When I come back, we have two more boxes of artifacts, this time for Michael B. So hang tight, everyone. I'll be right back with those boxes of artifacts hockey. All right, we're going to be getting into break number 22. Let me go ahead and adjust our queue number. All right. We are here for Michael B. Michael, if you're here, make some noise. Do have your two boxes of 2021 Upper Deck Artifacts Hockey to check out. Three hits per box plus one rookie redemption card on average. Just eight packs per box. Two of them here. I'll, of course, do a recap at the end of box number two. Let's go ahead and just get on into it by snapping us into the corner. Let's get started. Ryan has some fruit facts for us. It says, jam is made from fruit, jelly from fruit juice, preserves have chunks of fruit, conserves have dried fruit or nuts, marmalade has peel and pulp, fruit butters are slow cooked for a smooth consistency. Thank you, Ryan. Hey, Michael is here. It says, good morning. How about some magic, Allie? I'll try my best. Maybe we'll pull another $400 red laugh. I don't know. All right, here we go. Pack number one. We have Chris Letang. We're starting off with an Orem here. David Pasternak, All-Star Game. That does have the bounty code on the back. That is number 41, David Pasternak. First hit of box number one. Oh, we have Redemption here for the Bruins. Bruins Rookie Redemption, number 183. We have a red parallel, John Gibson, number 3 of 399 for the Ducks. We have Brock Besser, Dual Relic, out of 175 here for the Canucks. Oh, we have a Bronze Parallel. Rookie Nick Robertson, four of two ninety nine for the Maple Leafs. Good morning, Keith. And we got something red. We have Henrik Zetterberg, three seventy four out of three ninety nine for the Red Wings. Still waiting on one more hit here in these last two packs. We have a green Brock Nelson, 65 out of 99 for the Islanders. And last pack of box number one. Oh, we do have that Cam Atkinson does have a ding corner here. We have a Nathan McKinnon NHL Remnants Jersey Relic for the Avalanche. All righty. So let me get the McKinnon sleeved up. Then we can move on into box number two. All right, here we go. Box number two. Let's get on into it. Three more hits. Let's see what we will find. 
Uh, no, Tanner, we started, a, we had to stop early last night because after two hours of waiting for the internet to not be hot garbage, it didn't change. So I just called it an early night and came back to finish off the breaks this morning. All right, here we go. Pack number one, box number two. Oh, we got something. Oh, three of 28. This looks acetate shiny. What is this? Oh, okay. Endorse, esteemed endorsements, Nicholas Lidstrom Auto with the seven-time Norris Trophy winner inscription. That looks super cool. Wow, three of 28. Lidstrom Auto. My mom is jealous right now. My mom is probably at home super jealous that she didn't buy artifacts that is super cool i love the inscription that is so cool esteemed endorsements autograph on card two by the way a lot of these autos we've been seeing have been sticker autos so that is super cool that's super cool noise bounty hunter says one of the reasons i love artifacts artifacts is so cool My mom was like, maybe I should buy an artifacts. And I told her just to wait for SPX because I prefer SPX because I just love SPX. But she's probably like, Allie, I told you I wanted a box. I'd be like, I'm sorry, Bob. Esteemed endorsements, Lidstrom out of 28. That is so cool. Man, I've been pulling cool autos. Pulled a Lemieux auto the other day out of Synergy. That was fun. We have Blue Jackets Rookie Redemption. Michael says, thanks, Allie. You're welcome. That is number 189. Day, spring, summer says, sticker shaming. Yes. All day, every day, as Bubba says. We have Max Paccaretti out of 499. That is just the regular version of this card they are numbered i'll give him his own pile we have a bronze hey look at that dude ben bishop out of 175 dual relic yeah this box is lit you guys see my mom cursed me my mom was jealous of this box now i'm jealous of this box man Ben Bishop, 104 out of 175 dual relic for Dallas. Next pack here. We have a bronze Wierenski. I don't know why I have such troubles with his name. Out of 299. Hey, King Shackles, welcome. We had stopped around midnight last night because the uh, the uh, quality issues with the stream were not going away. So I had closed early and I came back at 9. So kind of still going, but not really. I'm not pulling an all-nighter this time. I do that a lot, but not this time. Michael says, sorry, didn't mean to make you jealous. It's okay. Ooh, what do we have here? We have a rookie of Igor Korshkov out of 9.99 for the Leafs. So I was going to say your energy for a long night was amazing. Hey, thank you. Yeah, not this time, but I have done it before. So I'm not surprised people are like, Allie, go to sleep. You're like, no, I'm good. This time I was a good girl. All right, here we go. We have a bronze rookie dual relic, Josh Norris. 503 out of 599 for these senators. And last pack here for Michael. Have a green Kopitar, 28 of 99. All righty. So let me go ahead and move this box out of the way. We can get into a recap here. What's next? Up next, we do have a Mando tin and a Marvel Annual Hobby Box for Chad Y. Anatomy X. 
That's what's coming up next. But, all right, let's go ahead and do a recap here. I did get one Orem card, the David Pasternak All-Star Game. With the bounty code, that was Orem number 41. And then we also had a couple of dual relics here. Starting off with that rookie dual relic of Norris out of 599. We had the Ben Bishop dual relic out of 175. And the Brock Besser dual out of 175 as well. Also had one NHL Remnants relic of Nathan McKinnon for the Avalanche. And very cool, we did have the on-card inscribed auto of Nicholas Lindstrom out of 28. Three of 28 esteemed endorsements, acetate autograph. Also had two redemptions here, rookie redemptions for the Bruins and for Columbus Blue Jackets. And two rookie cards, one base, one bronze parallel. Base, Korshkov out of 999. Robertson out of 299 bronze. We had one base... Even though it's numbered base veterans out of 499, Max Packerati number 143. And for parallels, we had the green Kopitar out of 99, bronze Wierenski out of 299, Brock Nelson out of 99, Zetterberg out of 399, and Gibson out of 399. Hey, Michael, with the $10 super chat says that was awesome, Allie. Thanks so much. Worth the wait. Hey, I'm glad to hear that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Michael, for letting me open up these boxes for you. Glad to hear that you enjoyed it and love these new additions to your hockey collection. Let me go ahead and unstap myself here. When I come back, a Mando tin in a Marvel annual hobby box for Chad. Let me go ahead and clean this up, and then I'll be back with that momentarily. So hang tight, everyone. I'll be right back. Carl says that esteemed auto is a 1 in 480 box hit. Ooh, very cool. Very cool. All right. Hey, Ken is here. Hey, Ken. Welcome. All right. Be right back, everybody. Alrighty, let me go ahead and update our Q number. Don't forget guys, I do have to get out of here in about an hour. I will do my best to try and get through everything as, as quickly as I can. But if I don't get to any of the breaks scheduled for today, I will just go ahead and put them on next Saturday's uh, like Q. But I will send messages and ask if anyone is interested in having their break done earlier in the week. But all right, let's go. I didn't update the queue. said I was going to do it, and then I didn't do it. Break number 23. For Chad Y, we do have two non-sports boxes here. One Mandalorian Season 1 Hobby Box tin, and also a Marvel Annual Hobby Box. Now, interestingly enough, a lot of you guys have been picking off these Marvel Annual Boxes recently. Not sure if you saw that one personal break video from Friday and you're inspired, or you just have been eyeballing it for a while, but that is a pretty cool product. I'm actually going to start with the Mando Tins. So let's go on ahead and get on into it for Chad by snapping us into the corner. Set this off to the side. Let's check it out. Hey, Shannon, welcome. Here we go. For Chad, starting off with the Mandalorian Season 1 tin, and then we'll get into that Marvel Annual. Break number 23. Hey, Joey. Yep, we're opening up some Mando. All right, here we go. Pack number one. This feels kind of heavy. Why are you heavy? Mando packs psych me out, because every time something feels a little bit heavy, I'm like, is it a Beskar? Doesn't seem like it this time. Not sure why that pack felt a little weird. We have Berg, characters insert. Blue parallel. Are you going to have Marvel Black Diamond next month? Yes, we have. We had ordered 10 cases, Carl. We got cut to four. So I'm not sure. I know we were planning on having a live stream opening up at least the case, but now that we got cuts, I don't know if we will. Because it is expected to be popular. The placeholder release date says Valentine's Day, which is a Sunday. So hopefully it actually comes out in February, but I wouldn't be surprised if it just gets delayed, just like the X-Men Metal 
Uh, Ages is confirmed to be coming out on the 3rd, so we'll have that when it comes out. The preview for the product looks pretty nice. I'm excited. But we do order just about every Marvel product. It just depends on if it comes out on time. Because right now the X-Men medal is delayed to just spring and doesn't have an official date, and the date that shows on the calendar for Black Diamond doesn't make sense. New York Mike says one in 480 packs, not boxes. I mean, that's still pretty rare. Definitely very cool there for Michael. Do you have a price set? No, not yet. Usually we try to be under market, though. I don't know what Steel City has their pre-orders at, but they always change their price anyways. Usually the more quantity we have, the cheaper it gets, but since we got cut to 40% of what we ordered, um, hey, we have our auto already. We'll see what it is. I don't know. Bossman sets the prices for sealed product. Let's see our hit of the box here. What do we have? We have Misty Rosas as Quill. She is the actual physical actress for Quill. Nick Nolte did the voice. Just the base auto there. She has a gorgeous signature, too. Gorgeous signature. Here we go. Next pack. Mandalorian helmet tools insert. Blue parallel. And last pack here of this tin for Chad. We have characters, Remnant Stormtrooper, and a blue The Client Parallel. And that'll do it here for the Mando tin. We'll do a recap of this, move it off to the side, then get into the annual. Our guaranteed hit of the box, we did get the Misty Rosas Quill Auto, base auto, but gorgeous signature, very cool card. Yeah, we did only get one purple parallel here. Got the unexpected complication parallel of card number 73. So that'll do it for the Mando box. Let me go ahead, pick this all up, and then get on in to our Marvel Annual box. I did drop a pack. Let me grab that. Drop the pack wrapper. Trying to stay clean here. Hey, Ken with the $5 Super Chat says, lunchtime snack. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm watching the stream from work. Don't tell my supervisors. Hey, no problem. Thank you, Ken. Much appreciated. All right, so let's get into the Marvel Annual. Five cards per pack, one pack per, or, or 16 packs per box, excuse me. Also gar guaranteed at least one hit per box. You can get the splash ticular, lenticular short print inserts. You can get creator's corner autograph. You can get battle booklet sketches, regular sketch cards. Shannon asks, Allie, did you get any Tim Hortons hockey cards this year? Shannon, we're in Florida. That should be a pretty easy answer. Any Garbage Pail Kids food fight coming to the channel? Uh, Tim, I'm not certain. I don't know if we... Or I know we didn't order the paper. Usually we just order the Chrome Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, not certain. Actually, on the food fight. Hadn't heard about that one, so maybe not. But we'll see. We'll see. Gift... 2K is now following. Thank you, Gift. All right, here we go. First pack. Start off with a splash ticular variant tier four Iron Fist of the uh, the dog from the Inhumans, I think. Splash ticular number seven, Guardians of the Galaxy number five. That's cool. Number one spot insert. We have Variant Tier 3, Iron Patriot. Future Watch, Luna Snow. I think we got one too many cards in that pack. I don't know. Balancing Sumo is now following. Why am I seeing... Right, it's still showing green for me. All right. It looks like it was just during that one pack. Let me continue with this pack here. See what's... All right, no, I get spinning circle. Wow, wonderful. 
Why is there lag at 11.15 in the morning? <laughs> That'd be too pain to wash. Let me throw that away. Can you guys still hear me? Hey Twitch, you guys are usually closer. Can you guys hear me? DJ T Rock is now following. Thank you. Steven says, okay, audio. Your at your geeks is no audio or video. I see on Twitch that it's just a black screen at the moment, says unstable. Malazy says, yes, we can hear you. All right, at least you guys can hear me. Uh, let's run the speed test. Woo. Why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? All right, at least you guys can still hear me. That's good, that's good. Day Spring Summer says video back. Oh, look at that. We got like point two upload. All right. All right. Yeah, the video. All right, apparently the video's back on Twitch. I'm not seeing anything. Let me hit refresh over there. All right, I see the video being back. Um, yeah, it looks frozen on the Restream app right now. Douglas is showing me that the video is completely frozen. That's what I'm seeing, too. Bubba hit refresh. Bubba says he can hear audio on YouTube, but not on Twitch, despite the refresh. All right, see you, CC. We have the highest that we can get. It's supposed to be 60 upload, New York Mike, but we're having a problem where it's like around, it's under one. Just like last night, I see. Douglas says YouTube is back. Looks super lag city though. Like one frame per second, says Lee. This is ridiculous. Wendy says it's work. City says it's working. Looks like it's going slowly, but it is working. All right, just saw some lag on Twitch. Kool Aid Jamma 2 is now falling. Thank you, Kool Aid. All right, it says green, but no data, so it's not really green. It's just. Day, spring, summer says it's getting better, though. Mr. Cortex says on Twitch it's fine. Ryan, the problem is there's an issue with the line that they just don't want to fix. They're not switching when the traffic is uh, too much for our area. They're supposed to switch us to a different one because of what we pay for, and it just that switch isn't working. So... Steven says a little spiky. Hopefully this is just like a little, little thing. It'll pass real quick. Twitch is looking better. 
Actually, I switch over to the Twitch tab. Looks frozen right now. We'll see. Remington says it works now. Spectrum. Spectrum's the only one that'll service the office. The only thing uh, front we have front the other air provider in the area is Frontier. The only thing they can get to this location is like dial up. <laughs> it's ridiculous. No, we had left after two hours of waiting for lag to go away last night, BBB's guards. Uh, and the lag is back now. To be fair, though, we got through another 12 or so breaks, but that's not good enough. Especially because I do need to get out of here in a little under an hour. Hopefully it'll stop enough for me to finish this box of Marvel Annual for Chad. Malaysia's says lag is kind of gone. Steven says it looks good. All right, YouTube's still frozen. Not sure if that's just because it's behind or not. Twitch actually looks like it's behind now, too. Twitch looks good, though. Twitch is saying the feed is excellent. So it looks like I can keep going. Doing any contenders? No, Remington did the contenders last night. All right, the Twitch feed says excellent. Justin, it it, it wouldn't. It wouldn't, because the thing is, is the uh, it actually compresses the video if it can't handle it anyways. And it looks like it's cleared up. All right, so I'm going to resume here. I'm actually going to, all right, YouTube chat, I'm going to be missing you guys for a little bit. I'm switching over to the Twitch window to watch that, since that one's a more accurate representation of where I'm at, because uh, that one is less of a delay. So I'm going to hang out with Twitch chat for a little bit. YouTube, I'll be back after I'm done with this box, just so I can keep an eye on things. All right, here we go. Let's finish actually opening up this pack here for Chad. YouTube looks like it's like a minute or so behind right now. We have a tier one variant Gibbon. Comics, Professor X. All right, I'm not piling out my piles good today. Let me slide everything over. We have a tier one angel and a creator's corner autograph, Kelly Sue DeConnick, writer for Captain Marvel number one in 2012. Kelly Sue DeConnick auto. So we did have two hits in this box, comics Deadpool. To get that splash ticular and an auto. Uh, we don't have any anthology. We have a lot of artifacts, Jeremy. We've opened up a lot already today. We still do have some artifacts left to open, if that's what you're referring to. Variant tier one Angela. Oop, the lag is back. Let me finish this pack, I guess. Humble Beginnings, Wolverine, and a Thor base card. All right, it's jumping around. Mm. All right, we're spinning. Cool. Nick's Blackhawks talk is now falling. Thank you, Nick. Con Jelly is now following. Thank you, Con Jelly. Appreciate it. Lag Central.
Yeah, I waited. I waited, Bubba, for it to clear up for two hours. I kept hoping it would get better, and then it just didn't get better. Oh, Nick's Black Hawk Talks says it's Windy City Hockey on, on YouTube. Cool. Thank, welcome, welcome, Windy City, to Twitch. It was good for a little bit, and uh, now it's uh, no bueno again. Yeah, because this is what was happening, Bubba. Twitch is looking like it's okay. No. I'm just saw a lag. Every time it looks okay for like two seconds, I'm like, oh, it looks okay, and then it does something that's not, not okay. Ah. <sighs> Run the speed test again. All right, this is weird. This is we have seven megabytes upload, seven point zero nine. So in theory, it should be good. Should be good to go. Looks like my picture's just frozen, though. Now it looks like I'm having choppy freezing issues on Twitch, too. Good morning, Hash Brown. Malaysia seems okay, seems okay. The problem is when I sit like this, I can't really tell if it's frozen or not because I'm not moving. But it does look like the little this thing that goes around the screen over here it does look like that's kind of choppy. So. Yeah, I can see that jumping around. I'm watching the border jump around. Yeah, it's jumping between less than one to up to five megabits, so that's why it looks good for like a second and then stops being good. I don't understand why Spectrum is so horrible. I don't understand why they can't fix it. Welcome, Joan. We have golf, so it's probably not the trouble, but sometimes my internet acts weird when someone else is uploading something. I mean, I'm the only person here. Also, last night I was the only person here, so it's not like there's someone else using the internet. You know, also, I'm hard hardwired in. It's the ethernet into the wall. But... Jeez. Why is this doing this to us? Twitch is looking, uh, of course, every time I start to say it looks okay, it's not okay. Craig DZ is now following. Thank you, Craig. It is Tighawk. It is. I 
It's Spectrum and Frontier, Justin. Steven says you might want to try to finish the break. You've only got 45 minutes left. I know, but I, I can't open if it's not. I'm not even going to be able to see the cards. Yeah, boss man has been like this for probably about 20 minutes. It's not that, Mike. We've done that. It's There's a problem with the line. It's just, I guess, too many people are streaming. I don't know what they'd be streaming right now. Too many people are doing stuff on the in the order. Can you not record? What do you mean, Steven? Oh, it's back. It's saying green again. Excellent connection. All right, now there's a hiccup. YouTube says green, but I don't believe it. Mix says maybe there's a dude living in the wall downloading torrents. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's showing green on YouTube, but I'm seeing it skipping around. So. Recording Streamlabs while streaming, but what's the point of that, Steven? Ooh, Ryan has some coyote and fox facts. Sounds good. Good entertainment. Come on, Ryan. Drop some knowledge on us. Yeah, but that would be recorded breaks, Stephen. These people purchased live breaks. I can't just decide to record it. I have to ask permission if they want it recorded. YouTube's looking okay. Let me check Twitch. Twitch looks like it's having a little bit of issues, but still says excellent. So I guess I'll keep going here. And then if it... Again, I'm switching tabs to the Twitch window so I can see it. Now it looks like it's skipping a lot. Very brief spurts where it's okay. All right, I think I'll just, let's try this next pack here. I'll try and give good narration to you guys as I open. We're starting with a crossbones base, brawn base. Tier 1 variant Crescent. Number 1 spot, Black Panther and the Agents of Wakanda insert in a Swordmaster base. Yep, it's lagging through all the cards. Actually, that looks okay. The second half of the pack looked okay there. And it's lagged on the insert. Yeah, I'm not comfortable opening with that. Morning, Fortnite Nancy. We're struggling again here this morning.
Steven says, I find it odd. It took about two hours and 15 minutes to start both times. Yeah. Morning, Tiffany. All right, Twitch is looking okay again, so let me just try and get through the rest of this box. We have Armor Base. We have Lofi, Variant Tier 1. Future Watch Heroes, Dr. Gregor. Rick Jones and Cyclops Base. Next pack. Mary Jane Watson. Jack-O-Lantern. Variant Tier 2, Nick Fury. Humble Beginnings Thor, insert. And Miss Marvel Base. We have Krakoa, Nyx, Crossbones Tier 2 Variant Base, Number 1 Spot Insert Marauders Number 1, and Sabertooth Base. Alright, starting to lag again. Hold off before getting into the next pack. All right, looks like it's being back to excellent on Twitch. I'm going to keep going. I see it keeps going between regular 1080, 60 to 70, 60, or 720, 60, and then 360p. Let's see here. Let's just, I want to try and finish off this box, and then I'll probably have to call it quits again tonight, or this morning. You have a Spider-Man base. Tier 3 variant black cat. Cable number one spot insert. X-23 and Hercules. We have Queen of Angels base. Misty Knight variant tier 3. Number 1 spot Captain Marvel number 1. Knight Thrasher and Okoye base. Brawn Hammer, Brawn Variant Tier Number 1, Comics, Spider-Man featuring Earth-16 or 616 and Earth-65 Spider-Man versions, Dark Star Base and Queen of Cinders Base. Betty Ross Banner Base, Mockingbird Variant Tier 2, 
Number one spot, Ghost Spider, number one insert. Ironheart and Zorn. You have Lofi Base, the Dryad, a variant tier one. Humble Beginning, Spider Man. Shadow Spider and Arrow. Yeah, it seems to be okay, Boss Man, but I don't trust it, so I'm still trying to be careful through this box. We have Spider Woman, Dr. Fay, variant tier one. X Men number one, number one spot. Toad and Mysterio Base. And the last pack here for Chad. We have White Fox, Daredevil, Tier 2 variant Wilson Fisk, Morbius number one, number one spot insert, and Doctor Strange base to round off this box. Alrighty, let me move this box out of the way. We'll get into a recap here for Chad. Did get two hits in this box. Did have the Splash Ticular, number seven of Guardians of the Galaxy number 5, S7, Splash Ticular 7. We also had a creator corner, Creator's Corner autograph, Kelly Sue DeConnick, writer for Captain Marvel number 1 of 2012. Then also, since we didn't get to see too well, all right, looks like we're lagging again on the recap. Did get two Future Watch Heroes, insert Dr. Gregor and Luna Snow. Handful of humble beginnings. We have Wolverine, Thor, and Spider-Man. And then Marvel Comics, we had Deadpool, Spider-Man, and Professor X. And I think that'll do it for our recap here. Actually, before I go, I want to check these out. We did get one Tier 4 variant in Iron Fist. And that'll do it for our recap here. Thank you so much, Chad, for letting me open up this box of Marvel Annual and that Mandalorian Hobby Box tin for you. Hope you're able to enjoy the opening. My apologies for all the internet issues. Unfortunately, I can't control it. Not sure why. Spectrum has just been horrible last night and this morning. Did stop last night at midnight after waiting for two hours for it to clear up. And yet, uh, it was okay when we started again this morning. But we're having issues still. So I hope, Chad, you're still able to enjoy the opening, even though it was a bit stretched out due to all the lag. But let me go ahead and unsnap myself here and move this out of the way. And when I come back, I will wait a little bit, see if I can go through that box of artifacts, break number 24 for Alex F. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if I can get through that. But all right, let me move this out of the way and I'll be back. Bubba says, Ali, try turning off the face cam so the mat cam has enough bandwidth to not lag. Do we think that would actually help? Steven says it wouldn't help. It keeps, it's weird because it keeps going from like 
okay-ish at like eight megabits to under a half a megabit. So I don't, I don't understand why this would be happening, especially on a Sunday morning. Are a lot of churches maybe still streaming services just because of uh, shutdowns, or is that not a thing really anymore? Even on the speed test, it keeps jumping around. Right now it says 9. It started at 0 0.5, went to 12, jumped to 9, and kind of lagged a bit back and forth. I don't really understand. All right, I'm watching on YouTube. I see myself frozen. Yeah, CV baseball card collectors. We started lagging at about 11.10. CV baseball card collector says they're still live streaming. Maybe that's what it could be. I guess if people are starting at 11 and then just the internet's getting choked. I know last night with the Disney Plus was down, ESPN Plus was down. Some of the UFC streams were not having a good time. So... It's not the modem. There's actually an issue with the uh, the switch in the line that Spectrum claims they're they're gonna fix it, but they just keep not fixing it. Ryan says the alligators are chewing through the internet cables. Ryan, what happened to your Fox facts you're supposed to give us? We don't have fiber in this area, unfortunately, Pop-Tart. Moss Man says it looks good now. Which it does. I just don't know if um, I'll be able to get through the artifacts without issue. I mean, I can try. It's only eight packs. And then I will close it for the night. Well, for the morning. Because I do have to get out of here. I do have to finish wrap up about 12.15. Because I need to be out of here by 12.30. Uh, so everybody else, I will just go ahead, I guess, and message over the course of this afternoon asking if they want live or recorded breaks. So there's going to be a lot on my plate for, I guess, this week. Steven says this is the best. It's been in about 30 minutes. So while it's still looking all right, let me go ahead and update our queue number 224. For Alex F., we do have a box of artifacts. Let me grab that. And all righty, so break number 24, probably going to be our last one, because uh, then we do have the two tins for Geriatric Geek. I mean, maybe if we finish this one, there's no internet problems, we'll be able to get into that. But break number 24 for Alex F. Artifacts Hockey 2021. Let's go on ahead and get on into it by snapping us into the corner, and let's get started. All right, and I'm back on viewing the YouTube window, so Twitch, definitely let me know right away if you need me to stop, if it's not looking good. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Artifacts Hockey. Did see that really cool Nicholas Lindstrom on card inscribed auto earlier for Michael. Let's see if we can find another nice auto here. All right, pack number one. All right, of course, it started lacking when I lagging when I opened the pack. <sighs> Wonderful. All right, switching back to the Twitch screen. 
Looks like the border is okay at the moment. Eh, it just throws up a little bit. All right, let me get through this box of artifacts. Looks like I can. Not too many cards, so that should be okay. David Perron for the Blues base. We have Rookie Redemption for Detroit Red Wings. Card number 191. So our first Rookie Redemption of the box. We have Rickard Raquel for the Ducks base and Miko Roskinen base. Pack number two. We have Tyler Toffoli base. Oh, we have a dual rookie relic auto, Jake Evans, number 77 out of 149 for the Canadiens. Sticker auto, one red jersey piece, one white jersey piece. Very cool rookie dual relic autograph, Jake Evans. Seth Jones base for Columbus. Pack number three. We have Nazim Kadri base. Tyler Bertuzzi base. Barzal, 190 out of 499, green Vets, high number base. Ryan's Getzlaff base at the back of the pack. All right, pack number four. We have Logan Couture for the Sharks base. We have a dual relic rookie of Liam Foodie, 366 out of 599, both dark blue relics for Columbus. Dual rookie Liam Foodie. And Tristan Jerry, base in the back for the Penguins. Yes, Ed, this is live. I'm trying to push through this box of artifacts via narration. That way, um, I can at least finish this box before I have to head out. All right. I'm opening this fifth pack here. We have Andreas Athanasiu base for the Oilers. We have a Stamkos bronze, 137 out of 299. Braden Shen base and Dominic Kubelik. Pack number six. We have Ryan Nugent Hopkins base. Red rookie parallel, Gabe Velarde, 69 out of 399 for the Kings. Gabe Velarde, red rookie parallel out of 399. Rasmus Dahlin and Jean Gabriel Pajot base. Pack number six. Starting off with a Connor Hillebook base. And we have year one rookie sweaters relic. Kale McCarr for the Avalanche with a little blue piece in there. 2019-20 jersey year one rookie sweaters Kale McCarr relic. That should be, in theory, our final hit of the box here. Pekka Rene base in the back. All right, looks like it's just a spinning circle. Can you guys still hear me or no? We have one pack left here for Alex. Jerry at your geek says, Allie, feel free to save my two Star Wars till next weekend if necessary. I can do that for you, Jerry at your geek. Like I said, I'll go through and message and see if uh, you guys want any remaining breaks for live or for next week. Or like live next week or recorded. But the audio is fine. All right, so I'll continue here with our last pack for Alex. 
Let me again pull up the Twitch screen so I can see. Brazili just followed. Thank you, Brazili. All right, last pack here for Alex. We have Zach Parisi, base for the Wild. Mira Heiskanen, base for the Stars. We have a teal, Tom Wilson for the Capitals, 4 of 45. And a base, Jacob Silverberg in the back for the Ducks. Geriatric Geek with the $10 Super Chat says, thank you for your patience and professionalism. Thank you, Geriatric Geek. Really couldn't do without you guys' understanding. I know we had someone earlier that was... Uh, not as understanding as the rest of the chat, which I actually understand where they're coming from. I get it. Um, this weekend has been particularly bad. It's been in a recurring, not as in long spurts for the past actual couple weeks. Hopefully, Spectrum can figure it out. We cannot switch the Frontier. Their service is even worse for this area, and no one else services it. So we really can't do too much about it. Hopefully, we can pressure them into fixing that problem. As a lot of people in chat have been saying, though, the money is going elsewhere instead of upgrades. But let's go ahead and do a recap here of this box for Alex. Did have a red rookie. Zolix92 is now following. Red rookie Gabe Velarde out of 399 for the Kings. We also had that teal Tom Wilson from the last pack out of 45. We have Steven Stampkos out of 299. Bronze parallel. And the Matthew Barzal Veterans High Number out of 499 for the Islanders. Also had one rookie redemption for the Red Wings, card number 191. We had the Kale McCarr rookie sweater, Jersey Relic. That's a blue piece. Primetime Jimmy is now following. Thank you, Primetime Jimmy. Also had a dual rookie relic of Liam Foodie for Columbus, 366 out of 599. Both dark blue pieces from the Columbus uniform. And then we also had a dual relic auto, Jake Evans, 77 out of 149 for the Canadiens. Sticker auto on top, bottom left piece is a red relic, bottom right piece is a white jersey relic. And that'll do it for the hits and parallels of this box for Alex. Thank you so much, Alex, for letting me open this on up for you. Hope you're still able to enjoy the opening. And that'll actually, I think, do it for me today. Geriatric Geek said I can push his boxes to next week. Uh, everyone else I will message to ask. In theory, I mean, we're ending at 24, so I guess it was a reasonable cap. <laughs> but still do have those 10 extra breaks I'll have to either squeeze in during this week or live next weekend. Zolox asks, which cards are hits and ease? Just getting into NHL cards, order two boxes of artifacts and two of Series 1. Series 1 doesn't have any guaranteed hits per box, but you can get autographs, can get jersey relics. Primarily out of Series 1, you're looking for those young guns and young gun variants. Persian Rain says, thanks, Allie, much appreciated. Oh, was this your box, Persian? I hope you enjoyed it, if so. Uh, out of artifacts, there you are guaranteed three hits per box and one rookie redemption on average. We've seen some boxes that have had two rookie redemptions, one of them counted as a hit. Um, but the Orem cards, which typically, if it's not a parallel, has a bounty code on the back that you can scratch off. That counts as a hit. Jersey relics count as a hit. And autographs count as a hit. As we saw here, we did have one relic auto. So that doesn't count as two hits. It just counts as a hit. Of course, now it's showing green. Excellent connection. I don't feel comfortable starting into something else. Mini Disc says, run Windows Update, Malware Bytes, and CC Cleaner. Also, make sure you go to Windows Settings, Power Settings. Make sure it's not on balance, but high performance mode. I think Bossman said he was coming in. I'll let him poke around with the computer. Uh, the Spectrum Tech did evaluate. It's an issue in the line. So I think it is a Spectrum issue. Let me unsnap myself here. Still very frustrating. Hopefully that all these problems get settled within the week. I hate not being able to provide good content for you guys. Crispy Bacon says, great job, Allie. Hopefully the internet gets better next weekend. Thank you, Crispy Bacon. Appreciate it. But I think Alex Box here will wrap off today's breaks. Thank you so much, you guys, for your patience and understanding. Douglas says, good night, everyone. Good night, Douglas. Johnny Boy says, love the channel. Thank you, Johnny Boy. Armin Blue says, hey, Allie. Hey, Armin. But that'll do it for me here today. Sorry we had to go out on a bit of a sad note here. Not able to get through as much as I had hoped. 
But like I said, if your break is missing from here, I will go ahead and contact you throughout the evening, well, afternoon into the evening on whether you'd like it recorded during the week or live next week. And, and since you're here, what do you want? I can ask you, you're here. I know Jason said I could record. Geriatric Geek said live. And then what do you want? Buy CV baseball card collectors. Buy Mr. Cortex. Anden says record. All right, record. There's so much stuff to record during this week. Expect about eight to ten videos a day throughout Monday through Friday, you guys. Maybe I can do a lot on Tuesday. I don't know. But all right, everyone. Thank you for joining me here this Sunday morning with some more hockey and Star Wars. Hope you all enjoyed it all, and I will hopefully get through the rest of the boxes this week. Dawn says I can record. All right. Record. We are so close to getting to yours, too. They're chilling right here. Record. All right, so I have to message Jordan. Daniel O. Steve L. Thomas M. Alberto M. And William S. All right, bye, everybody. Take care. Have a wonderful afternoon, and hopefully may your internet speeds be great. Jordan L. says, I'm fine with mine being recorded. Missed the Hot Pockets. All right. I remember you from last night, so that is definitely you. All right. Let me go ahead. Unbold. Also, Jordan, I had held your boxes to ship them all together since you'd ordered more. So they all will, all three will come in one package. Record. All right. See you, Crispy Bacon. Good night, Kurt. Good afternoon, Norrin. As one fatal one says, go box. Hopefully the box win to the tonight. I think it's tonight. Don says, just pull me some 101s. I'll get you the coolest, coolest, grossest super fractor possible out of Garbage Pail Kids. But all right. Take care, everyone. Daniel O says, recorded and recorded. All right, cool. William S. recorded. Daniel O. recorded. Thomas says, recorded. All right. Lots of records. Wreck. 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 Wondering what's in those last two boxes of chronology. All right, so I'll message Alberto M. and Steve L. And that's it. All right, cool. Thank you so much, everybody, for your patience. I really appreciate it. Take care. Have a wonderful afternoon. And I will catch you again on Monday with a lot of videos. And also Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and next Saturday live. Hopefully things will be better. Take care, everyone. Catch you next week. See you later. Christina, Josh, Stephen, Thomas, Bill, Daniel, Eric, Don, Kurt. Fritten Humboldt, Mista Hot Pockets, Alexander, CV Baseball, JPG, I already said Kurt, Johnny Boy, Brazili, Norin, Crispy Bacon, One Fatal, Ray Rock, Steven, and Andin.